What's going on? Buenos tardes. Hola. What's good, bro? We are live, Moshcast over here at High Fidelity. It's a vibe. It's a mad vibe. We got a lot of a lot of good shit going on. I upgraded my stuff. Um, so new mics, new cords, new soundboard. We got a new fucking sound guy. Yeah, yeah. What's up? <laughs> yes, sir, man. So we got we got him going on too. Fucking special guest Damar. Was good. Was and good. His, and his little boy toy over there, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> this big cousin over there. I haven't seen him in a while. Um, I got dude. We were supposed to start like an hour or two ago, yeah. two hours ago, and you were just like, "Fuck him." What? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> you say yeah, like we gotta get everything checked and shit. But <coughs> no, nah, you're good. You're yeah, good. Dude. He, like, I was like, I, I, I can't shit. finish my coffee before we start. I have to have the aesthetic, you know. Yeah. So I've been waiting, and now it's all watered down. You know, and it's fucked up. It's different. My uh, my paper straw is like being. Oh, it's Fuck paper straw. Yeah, thing, that's some know? 806 shit right there. <laughs> yeah. Shout out 806 Organic. right next door. Hey, they make some good-ass coffee, though. Nah, that's for sure. I mean, I don't, I don't go there very often, but whenever I do, it's always banger. And I, and I, I go got to cinnamon for Fireball. I'm not drinking today, but if I was, it would be Same. Fireball for sure. Yo, you we like was, Fireball, Luke? We was Dude. crunk last time. <laughs> Dude. Dude, that was crazy. You know, last podcast, got I, got, I got him toasted as fuck. <laughs> I got him toasted, dude. He was fucking drunk. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to let it vibe through. It's fine. Because the past, the past two podcasts that I did with Eli and I did with uh, Tom, dude, I got fucked up on accident. I got drunk as shit at the end. I was like, no. So I'm chilling out. Today yeah. is the, th- this one. Yeah, this is the last one that I, this is the first one I haven't done drunk or Not drinking. For sure. So we're, I'm doing a little little chill week or something because okay, now I'm gonna get fucked up for sure. But I've noticed, bro. Like, have you noticed like every every episode I'm in? Like the first one I was in, like your opener, like it was the very first time you yeah. you did it, and then the second time I went, <laughs> you was moving out. Yeah. And then now you here, now I'm like here. it's crazy, bro. It's I a vibe, bro. Love and, to see it, bro. And we're live, so like if anybody comes through, they can watch it live, or everybody wants to pop in and say what up. And uh, I, I just I just liked it, man. I just like it's a vibe. We got Kill Bill like playing in the background right here, just in case you get bored. We just met. We're just we out here. We're just chilling in this bitch, dude. We were talking That's about um, shit. what are you fucking with your 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 shoes for? Oh yeah, you, you gotta put it. There's a, there's a little pocket in there. Yeah, that cover I took off. There's a little <laughs> pocket for it, and then you know it's a no. Tra- they really do have a pocket. What the fuck? Travis, the, the Travis T shoes. The Travi shoes. Yeah, I'm going to put this. Do they really have a pocket? cover for the pocket that it belongs in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's crazy, bro, that, that that a shoe has a pocket for their covers. Yeah. What are those covers for? Just in case, like, mud and stuff or what? Yeah, like, uh, he collaborated with a with one of my favorite uh, creators. His name's Tom Sachs. Tom Stacks? Tom Sachs. Tom Sachs. Yeah, he makes, like cool ass shit like bags and like just for like the outdoors and shit oh yeah and so uh yeah he just you know you put the cover on just you know if it's raining what, or what do you like do you so you know i'm was, a i'm a fucking og but do you order your shoes online and stuff nah bro i actually went to lubbock to a buy sell and trade shit no shit yeah i was gonna say do you fuck with these, mom city kicks over here yeah he's a fucking dope kid bro. yeah there's some dope if kids, you don't know bro. who mom city kicks is i don't know his name i'm sorry but he just graduated high school yeah. and has his own fucking shoe. They're doing store. this shit during high school and shit. And he's just he's mad chilling over there. I, I told him I was like, bro, like, how much to make a music video in this bitch? He's like, I we'll, we'll we'll make a deal or something. I was like, hell yeah, dude. Yeah, shit, that dude, that dude's fucking cool as fuck. As fuck, bro. So shout out to fucking Bomb City Kicks. Give me some shoes, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Is but, that uh, local yeah, shit? Yeah, we we were just talking a little while ago about like, so. We were talking about aliens and shit, and then we started getting into like satellites and stuff. Mm-hmm. Did you know that? Um, did you know that uh, Voyager is still recording shit from like 1978, and he's we've surpassed Pluto. Like he's still going, bro. He's still flying in the solar in the the, the space. No way. Yeah, and like he like we're still getting like pictures from that bitch from 78. No. He, and the the, ba- the the sad thing about that is is that the battery, right? The battery's yeah. dying. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. The battery's dying um, because he's so far out from the 
the, from the solar system that like he can't get the solar power from the sun. Holy shit! And so whenever it dies, it just dies. But but ain't there like bigger suns though? Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Boss, <laughs> boss was like, dude, you know how crazy uh, it would be if uh, if like he went to the another Milky solar Way, system yeah. and it just like recharged in another sun? That'd be so live. Like there is years or whatever. There, there is more life out there, bro. Oh, definitely. For sure. I've seen that shit. Yeah. Like I, I've I've experienced enough to like see shit. Even with my little brother, bro. Yeah. We we did a little photo shoot when I got my my film camera. We went to the football field in Friona. Oh yeah. And we were just there kicking it. We were just riding my bike all over the field and shit, and jumping around, taking pictures, and then we just like sat down for a little bit. He's like, "Look, it's shooting star." And I was like, oh, shit. But it kept the same length, bro, the whole time. And it just kept moving. I was I've like. I've seen that before. That's Nah, wild. fam. There has to be an alien, bro. Yeah, we was like, yeah, that shit. Well, I just was on Facebook, and it was like the Navy's. The Navy said that if they released all the UFO stuff, that uh, it would it would be harmful for the, for, what was it? Let me see if I still have it up. People's mind mentals and shit. Right. It was like, it would be harmful. But if you think about it, though. Our whole yeah. lives, we've been programmed to, like, n- normalize the alien species. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been, Like, we saw yeah. Godzilla. We saw yeah. King Kong. That's what, like, movies we've seen, and shit. We've yeah, been, we've been sci-fi shit. I know I've talked about this on, on podcasts, but mm-hmm. there's a there's a specific spaceship that they're, like, planning. Like, I don't know if they've built it or not. It's just, like, a theory. But every space movie that mm-hmm. they've made has been, they've used that spaceship. Oh, and shit. I and I noticed it when I was in high school or not high school. I noticed it when I was in eighth grade. Yeah. Because Miss um, Harrington, one of our teachers, used it in a, like a mathematical equation or whatever. Oh, shit. And then like two years pass, and then Elysium comes out, and then four years pass, and Interstellar comes out, and they have the same exact spaceship in their movies, and it's like we're we're being we're being normalized yeah, like you said we're 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 becoming like what is that word conscious cognitive of it no yeah like, like we like like it's not it's not new to us where it's like yeah. oh it's normal if it happens in real life we're like, like oh shit like i knew this like, was going to yeah, happen this is, it's yeah, normalized normalized desensitized yep. like hand sanitizer <laughs> But, um, dude, how, how you been? We, we're going a thousand miles already. But how, how you been? Uh, you, you just got back from where, San Angelo? Uh, no, I'm actually, I was at, they actually moved me to Lubbock, bro. I was in Lubbock for a couple of weeks. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I thought you were like, uh, so that one time, that one week last weekend, you were like, let's do a pod, and it just didn't happen. I thought you were flying to somewhere. Nah, yeah, they sent me out to, I mean, so right now I work for a couple of, companies it's a solar power uh, solar power company and oh, an internet right. company right, yeah. and i run their media so it's pretty lit bro and, but at the same time in the contract it said i could sell that shit too yeah so you know i'll be doing yeah. numbers with sales yeah, bro. 100%. yeah, yeah so salesman, bro. yeah so like just before I, I walked in bro like uh what's it called i knocked doors what two days ago I left my card with them. They just gave me a call like, hey, we ready to sign up. No shit. Yeah, so. Oh, my bad. No, you're good. I always put this this uh, fucking rug down because I think it's cool, but it always fucks it up. It's harder. Not nah, you're deal. good. It's not good. But, um, yeah, dude, so you're so you're now stationed in Lubbock. Are you living there or what? Um, Honestly, I'm the I'm going to be everywhere this, uh, for the like the rest of the year. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Because you said you were moving, you were moving out of state. Right, you were moving out of state. No, I said I was going out of You're state. Going out yeah, of state. I went to like a few weeks ago. I went to Arizona for a right. photo shoot. Right. Um, when I came back, like three days later, I went to Colorado for like a week. And bro, I just been active. You Hell know what yeah, I mean, dude. I love this shit. Like, you know, it's always moving. You're always, always moving. I'm on go mode. I told, I told Braxton, I was like, dude, like this guy's always on some shit. Always, he's always bro. doing. He's always bouncing around and stuff. Yeah. I was like, no wonder he's two hours late. <laughs> yeah. You do, but that's the thing too. Is like you, you texted me what at four in the fucking morning. Yeah. I was like, this guy's fucking still up. I was bro, like, <laughs> like the questions that I like, I had to wait for some people to get out of work. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. yeah. I called them at four p.m. and they was barely going into work, but they're like, yo, like I come up with something when I get off. Right. You know what I mean? I call you. 
You know what I mean? It's so that how, 4 much, how many hours are you on right now? Sleep? No, none? You haven't well, slept yet? I woke up like at 9, 10. Yeah. Yeah, and I was like a shower. An hour, like, yeah, like an hour later, yeah. I called you. I was like, yo, we good? <laughs> I would be like, nah, bro. I'm yeah. sick. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shit. So you're, you're so obviously you're still staying in Lubbock or not Lubbock um, Canyon. Yeah, like the 806 area for sure. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Um, what else is going on? Shit. Um, what's it just, called? Just the basic right now. The basic. Like like you got some shit going on after this. You gotta go somewhere. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm shooting a wedding, bro. Uh, I'm a videographer for a wedding. Yeah. Uh, for a, is a this good, your first wedding? Yeah. That's gonna be fun. It's gonna be live. Um, like tonight is just like you know, like the the day before is just like you oh, know, so practicing. It's tomorrow? Yeah, it's tomorrow. So tonight we're just gonna do like a practice on it and shit. We're gonna do a run through, um, and then from there, like I'm gonna see what angles I need to get it with the with the with the drone and right. then, you know like oh drone in this bitch too. Yeah, uh, you're gonna make that. You're gonna make them their wedding look baller as fuck. Sick as fuck, bro. Like it's a whole day packed in five minutes. No shit. <laughs> they they want it. They want they want a couple songs on the video, yeah. which is gonna be like five six minutes. So, you know what I mean. You better you better uh, you better post one of the size songs. Shit. Yeah, Almighty it's Sion. The, it's all them. Oh, tell you know them. I mean? Tell them. You're like I got I gotta do it. I'm sorry. I gotta do at least one song with Sion. Make Sion. a strong <laughs> suggestion. We'll see, bro. It's 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 the wife, bro. She's the one who. Nah, who tell her she knows. She's the one who told. I'll yeah, call her right now. She's the one who told the the husband because they already got a photographer, and uh, what's it called? The husband called me up. You know, we went to school together, and he's he saw me do this shit. Like he called me like in what late May. No shit. Like, yeah, he he's like, yo, bro. Like I see, I see what you're doing, bro. You active? Like you in Abilene? What the fuck? Shit. Like you do videography too? Cause my my wife, we actually gonna about to get married in September, bro. So like I'm letting you know months in advance, right. like. We need a videographer. We already got a photographer. Right. Just give me a price and let me know. 3K. Boy, you got a, you got a, a bag and a half. Yeah. Boy, you got a bag and a half for that shit. Yes, sir. You can buy fucking a few of those fucking nah, yeah, bro. I pocket ba- shoes. I invested it all and back into the into the business. Bro. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I made this shit a legit business. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Man, every weekend, bro, I see you with, a, with another Heine or something or, or a homie. <laughs> Yeah, bro. Doing some shit. Yeah, you, dude. There's some like, there's some mad vibe pictures that your photos that you post on Instagram. Yeah, bro. That's 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 the whole point. Like, I want people to. My bad. I'm moving <laughs> the camera. The whole point. The whole point hey, Bryce, is. If you can, can you move the while while we're while we're chilling? Just move it off the, off of the yeah off the carpet. Fuck right it. Right there. There you go. Yeah, we're good. Sorry about that. We but. straight. <clears throat> nah, you're good, bro. But yeah, bro. Um, that's the whole point of like my vibe with like taking pictures, bro. Like you know, I love having fun, and you know, like people can feel it through the pictures. Right, right. You know what I mean, yeah, like, and, that's um, the whole point. It's like I don't know some of those pictures that I see that you post and stuff. I'm like, this is like mad, like retro, like '80s feel. Yeah, that's. And some of the like some of the girls like rock with what they wear. Hmm. And I'm like, man, this is like a vibe as fuck. You got like the dark backgrounds with like the. The vibrant like neons and shit, yep. and I'm like, bro, this guy's on some fucking, uh, uh, what's that fucking movie called? Uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas type shit. Yeah, it's fucking sick, bro. On some boogie nights in the '80s and shit. <laughs> yeah, for yeah. real. Yeah, that's 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 what it is, bro. And like, you know, um, the reason why I, I did this pod, uh, I asked you to do this podcast because I was getting a lot of DMs, bro, with my clients and right. my, like. You know, people that are my friends and shit ask me questions through the DMs and shit. Like, yo, like... Like, what kind of questions they be asking? Um, what's it called? Like, yo, like, who and what influenced you to start going crazy on the camera? Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And then I was just like, man, like, you know, it was my Cause aunt. Because it was just out, like, I'm not going to say it was out of the blue. Like, I've known you, like, almost my a whole high school career. So, like, we've been homies for a while. Yeah. It was just, like, out of nowhere where you just started actually doing it. Yeah, but I know that you were you were into this kind of shit like from the beginning. Nah, for sure, bro. And then one thing I did, I just you know I listened to Russ, and I was like, he said, "Fuck it, I'll do it myself." And I was like, "Fuck it, I'll do it myself," because like I didn't like the way people were taking bars. my pictures. Mega bars, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. I didn't like that shit, so I was just like, "Fuck it," 
and but you know I'm not coming on no ego shit where like I'm. I think nah, I'm ego that shit up. Yeah, right, nah. Luke, ego that shit up, bro. Right, ego that shit up, dude. Be nah. be that ego, bro. Nah, bro. Like I, I'm not better than nobody. I'm. Nah, no, it's not even about being better than nobody. It's more of like you know that your your shit's fire. Yeah. You but gotta, at the same time, that, like, that vibe, right? you know, there's there's other people at different levels than me and shit. But, like, you know, it's, it's not hard taking pictures. But at the same time, it's like not everybody could take good pictures. Right, right. And so, like, you know, I, I know I have the 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 eye for it. And uh, it's know. more of like your style. Like, yeah, because like was going <clears> to <throat> fuck with you. They would fuck with you for your style. Yeah, because, um, you know, I remember I got a few photo shoots in and. Uh, What's yeah, yeah, a few photo shoots in with yeah, me that day that we did that podcast. Yeah, and shit. I just took I some pictures. I still love those pictures, bro. Bro, this movie's crazy. Yeah, it's Kill Bill, bro. <laughs> it's Kill Bill. Have you seen Kill Bill? Uh, hell no, nah, she going buku with this yeah, shit, dude. chopping people's legs off. And we, shit. we actually, we actually, we actually. <laughs> it's one against like two hundred. Yeah, we actually put this movie on because we thought it was the vibe. Oh, uh, bro, this is sick, dog. <laughs> I'm vibing. I'm in the space right now. But like I said, bro, with this picture, with these pictures and shit, man, like. You know, like I said, I got some photo shoots and pictures taken of me. Like, motherfuckers weren't getting the angles, weren't getting my shoes and shit. And I was right. like, come on, bro. Like, how am I finna pay you when you finna miss out on my fucking 200 500 $700 pair of shoes? You know they what I mean? Want, so they wanted to wear your shoes? Nah, it's just more the fact that, like, they didn't get my shoes in the pictures. Oh, got oh. you. But that was your whole thing. That's your yeah. whole... I mean, it's not, like, not your whole thing, but, like, that's I make my fit. fits make sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, the shoes, like, they, these kind of go with this hoodie. Right. You know what I mean? So, like, you know, I wore this shit, like, you know, black that's and white. That's how it is. You know, black and white fucking hat and shit. But, you know, the, there's a lot to what it comes with. Right, but right. At the style same time, comes, yeah. Style comes with, like, art, and art comes with photography. Like, this whole, this, that whole thing is, like, you wake up, what am I going to wear for this thing? This is how it's gonna be, boom. You know, like yes, it's, a, it's like an art. It's like a lifestyle, in an art style sense. It is. I don't know how uh, to fucking say it. I'm not a fucking yeah, it's photographer. Just, it just makes sense. Like, you know, you could be whoever you want to be, but at the same time, it's just like, you know, like you got to make it make sense sometimes. Right. You know, back in high school, I was like, oh, it's the weekend. I could wear whatever color. You know what I mean? I wore fucking like basketball red shoes. shorts with fucking yeah, red shoe or like. Yeah, black and red shoes with, like, neon socks and, like, orange shorts and a green shirt. You know what I mean? They're like, bro, you don't match at all. I'm like, it's the weekend. Like, what the fuck? What you, I do this shit all doing? week, Monday through Friday at school. You know what I mean? You, sometimes you just got to let loose. Yeah. No gay shit with the different <laughs> colors. You know what I mean? But it's just like, you know. Fuck it's it, it is what it is. Yeah. Like, going back, let's, let's talk about, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to talk about high school. Yeah, nah. but we'll talk about some people. What's up? Um, with you doing all the stuff that you're doing now, and like your platform, and and how you how you rock your shit now, and and how and just how it is altogether, what you're doing in your life, like, have you noticed like a shift in like homie to homie type stuff? Homie to homie? Yeah, like, like, because obviously nobody's gonna fuck with you. No. Not everybody's gonna fuck with you. Have you oh. seen that? Have you seen that in the I've like noticed growing that. and maturing in in your in your path? Nah, bro. I, I've like once I started my entrepreneurial journey, I knew it was gonna be lonely. Right. You know what I mean? Like I know when my presence no longer needs to be needed. I know when to dip. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know when the energy's off. Right. I know when you know I don't just. You know, see shit. I feel shit. Right. You know, and, and with that, it's just like you know, when you're talking about homie to homie shit, it's just like, all right, cool. Like we cool. Like I'm I'm connected to you, but I'm not attached. You know what I mean? I Mars. check up on people and shit, but at the same time, it's like, nah, bro. Who am I to like, fucking, ride your dick or fucking, you know, no homo, or like kiss your ass or fucking oh, get yeah, on my I knees. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah. kiss your feet, like. Nah, bro, I keep my own because at the end of the day, it's just like only you got you. But at the same time, like, yeah, bro, not everybody's your friend. Has it has it caught you off guard? Has has some has some things caught you off guard? Like, oh, fuck, I thought. Nah, I thought it was bro. different. I, I don't give a fuck. Like, I care, but not that much. You right. know what I mean? Like, the shit that goes on with business, bro, like, 
people that were saying they're gonna ride for life left and shit and I'm just, you know now it's just like I'm heartless but I still have a heart you know right. what I mean <laughs> right no 100% like cause you know a lot of people ain't don't 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 act upon what they speak but you know you always gotta expect the unexpected right you know what I mean right or expect disappointment then when the disappointment comes you won't be disappointed right you know so do mean? you believe in the whole keep your friends close but keep your enemies closer and shit that type of stuff or is it more like hey nah. if you fuck with me you fuck with me if you don't then fuck yourself nah bro like I don't give a fuck like uh, I'm like we were just talking about this today like bro we don't go out like right. I mean, if I do go out it's either I'm getting paid or you know we scheduling a, a place to go right. to get paid you know what I mean? Like it's always a hustle. Yeah, it's like I'm going out to the club and shit. If you see me at the club, I'm getting paid. Right, you're doing. If you see me leaving the club, I got paid. Right. You know what I mean? Or at least you're like. And if you don't see me at all, I'm scheduling something to right, get paid. Right. Right. You know. What that, I mean? That's the thing too. Like in the music world too. Like even like what I'm doing and shit. Like if I'm at a show, either I'm performing, or I'm like trying to get my way into getting people on pod, or. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to see what I could do in this area or whatever. There's always a move. There's Big always moves. a move. Always a move, bro. Like, and then plus, you know, it's it's who you know, not what you know at the same time. Right. And then it's not, sometimes it's like, you know, it's not, it's not what you do, it's how you do it. Yeah. You know, so, <clears throat> like, I'm going to always be pushing like a button, you know. So, you know, with all this shit, bro, like. You know, they got Titanic in this bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, tit- shit. Dude, they have, so th- this is all VCR shit, dude. I know, I love this shit. Like, Titanic, they got, they got man. Alien, they got Bueller's Day Off, Twister. They got a chess piece. They got a chess piece, they got, they got, they got women, they got beautiful. shirts. Shirt. Like I said last time, Metallica. it's all we need, shirts, women, and, and drinks they and movies. They got Bob movies. Marley in the joint. This a vibe, bro. Bro, how much, uh. How much to cop those fucking shades right now, bro? That's a lot, dude. Yeah, these are. These are. Yeah. What are they, Oakley's? What are yours? Oakley's. Oakley's? Yeah. Is Oakley still fire brand? It's or is there a better brand than Oakley? That's what I see everyone wear. It's Oakley, bro. It's always Oakley? Oakley or Nike. Oakley or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. But yo, um, last night, you know, with. Texting you at four yeah. in the morning, bro. I got you those questions, bro. Bro, everybody wants a lot of questions. fucking questions, bro. I well, I'll knock them out quick, I was like, bro. God damn, a whole ass uh, disc. Uh, what is it called? A uh, discography. Yeah, dog. People really want to dive deep. Um. So yeah, I guess uh, th- there, there's two questions that go together. With what we were talking about uh-huh. is uh, who influenced you uh, to go hard in the paint, the camera. Or in the photography world, and uh, when did you start? But I feel like you started right at the pinnacle of your last podcast. Yeah. Right? Was it you did the fir- you did the first podcast, and then right at the second podcast, you were in that shit. Yeah, like um, shit. I was just like, um, I mean, I've always been intrigued with. You know, taking pictures and shit. Like, right. I was doing this shit on my phone. Right. But, like, you know, they had that second podcast. I picked up the camera. Yeah. So, yeah. And bro. you caught that shit. And you showed everybody what you had. Yeah, bro. I remember that shit. You're like, I got this. I got that. I got everything with the kitchen sink. <laughs> For real. But with what you were saying <clears throat> with who and what influenced me, a lot of people are asking me that question, bro. Like, who influenced you? Who who, who made you start doing this shit? And 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 what made you start doing this right. shit? And the who is my my aunt and my mom, you know? No shit. That's why I do that retro shit, bro. With seeing the shit, that's the who, right? My aunt, my mom. With, you know, you, all, all families have a photo book of like, you right? Know, your right. parents have one where they documented their their teens and twenties and shit, right? My parents did too, you know what I mean? Um, and my aunt, you know what I mean? She's basically my second mom, like. I loved how they documented their teens and 20s in the States. Right. You know right. what I mean? It was the 80s and 90s, bro. Like, that was the steez. That was the style. That was the flow. Like, you know what I mean? The clothes, the shoes, the cars, the houses, the the flow, bro. 
that's what inspires me, bro. Like, that's why I love watching Stranger Things, bro. I fucking they binge watch that shit. They film that shit so fucking well, bro. Like, that shit hard as fuck. And so, the, yeah, bro, the, the, the who is my, my aunt and my mom, and the what is, you know, the the past, you know, not only 80s and 90s, but, like, back in the day when shit was black and white, you know, that that's what ins- influenced me today to do this shit because, like, ever since starting photography, bro, and videography, I see the the beauty and everything and everyone. Right. You know, so that's that shit's amazing. And, you know, uh, a lot of people are asking, too, when did I start taking pictures? Shit. Since I could fucking remember, bro. Fucking, right. uh, like, when I got my very first iPod with a camera in the back of it type shit. Like, I was taking pictures of random shit. My dog, plants, my food. Right. Videos of, like, my family when we'd be on vacation or the winter break, like, family making tamales in oklahoma city and shit Hell yeah you know what i mean and uh you know i was like was so hard from tapping the screen messing with the saturation and clicking the button to take the picture or right. tapping the screen to take the picture right so that's what that's when i got my first camera bro hell yeah you know i got my first camera april 25th bro of this year right right yeah <clears throat> you roll up to the podcast and you're like, bro, I'm doing this shit yep. full time now. I'm doing this shit for real, yep. which I wouldn't say I wouldn't say for real because you've been doing this shit for as, as long as I remember, too. Yeah. But I've I guess like pictures. the glow up, that was a glow up moment. Yeah, you know, it was like it was I'm like, doing this shit yeah, for real. Progression, all that shit. You know how it is, bro. Yeah. I just upgraded my, my fucking set and it's like. I love to see this shit, bro. It's not like the crazy best, but it's better than what I had. Nah, for you sure. Know what I'm like. To be holding this mic than a mic being like this right you know what i mean like because i'm engaged with it you know and and i love to see it because you doing what i'm doing i'm reinvesting in my shit right right switching you have locations to, you have to you know what i mean you always have to be one step closer to what you're trying to yeah like become. sometimes it might be one step back but it's always two steps forward right you know what I mean? right that like, one step back might actually get you in a better opportunity a better door or whatever it's the slingshot effect bro. yeah doesn't matter yeah. how far it goes, it just it went somewhere. You going far as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, uh, what's it called? Ooh, it's, cameras, dude. Let's talk about what kind of cameras. Let's talk about I like want? so like you got that camera. Like what what's Shit. what's the camera that you want to have in like in in the future? Like what's the what were we looking at? Like brands and stuff. Do you have a specific favorite brand Damn, or what's going bro. on? Yes, sir. This is the shit right here. So I want a DJI drone. Fucking like. I don't know how, but I am. I'm going to collaborate with DJI and, like, get the newest drone of every year, bro. Like, drone drone work is going to go so crazy. Like, the next five to ten years, bro. Right. It's going to be buku. So, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to find a way to, like, connect with these guys and, like, do some drone shit. Like, high we're, altitude, get the top of Mount bro, Everest and shit. Fuck we're, it. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna have, like, drones where, like, it's, like... Soundless, you know, like you know, like yeah. some of those drones they have the yeah, that mine's have pretty loud. Like, yeah, in the future that don't have. Have you seen no Ready sound. Player One and shit where they're like tracking niggas? Yeah, bro, <laughs> that shit wild. But yeah, I'm gonna do, <laughs> I'm gonna do, some, I'm gonna do some drone work. Um, uh, with DJI, definitely want some DJI, some gimbals, some stabilizers. Right. Um, with Canon, definitely want the Canon Rebel. Oh, can, it's always uh, Canon. Canon, bro. Uh, you know, I'm not sleeping on any other camera, but Canon, bro. Canon. Canon's uh, got, a good brand. Yeah, it's I got the Canon here. Rebel T7 right now. Uh, I'm, I'm going to get the EOS uh, R3. Bryson, look up how old Canon is, like the brand. Uh, Yeah. I want the R3 th- that holds like six bands. So I, I already bought it, but I need some lenses. That's another 4K. Right, right. Lenses and, and flashes, shit like that, right? Right. So that's a 9K camera setup. I already established 6K. Um, and then I want some film cameras, bro. You know, but on the other side, I want some Sony ones, too. Sony's crazy Sony's with the good. video. So, A1 badass digital Canon ones. I want a badass digital Sony one. And I want some old school Canon film cameras. Yoshika film cameras, like bro, so Mamiya. Like, have, have you ever went, like, to, like, like, Vintage vinyl stores 
I wouldn't say vintage vinyl, but like vintage, vintage stores to see if you could find like old ass cameras. Yes, old ass like OG camera to, lenses. Go, yes, bro. I got a fucking dude. I got a thrifts. I got a fucking old school shops. I go to you know every city I go to, bro. I like look up like yo like what's the nearest photography store? You know what I mean? I want to buy some film. Right. You know what I mean? Um, my goal is to make film photography normal again. You know, even though it's not going to, like, last forever, you know, it's it's getting popular but slowly dying at the same right. time. If right. it makes sense because the chemicals, bro, like, it's right. just so much and it's bad for the environment. But at the end of the day, you know, um, uh, what's it called? Yeah, bro, I always go to pawn shops, thrifts, like, fucking flea markets fuck around you know what just I mean? like looking around to see yeah, if you get a bro, good deal like, some I, shit. i'm with this shit too and then if i find some shit if i get some film bro i'm like because like history repeats itself you know what i'm saying yeah. if you can find like an og like retro lens to make yeah. it look retro from back then bro in the bag bro and then plus it's all in the film too bro what, what type of film you get right camera lens as well the camera yeah the flash um what was Kenny? how old is Kenny established my phone won't load Oh, no oh, shit. Word. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. Series, my shoddy. It might be. How might old be is the... Canon? Dude, we were talking about, while we were talking <laughs> about this, we are talking about. um. How old is the Canon camera company? Like, yeah, like established, but. 85 years. 85 years? Almost. Oh, almost 100. Almost, almost 100. a good 100. Um, they got established uh, in 1937, August 10th. Crazy. August 10th. Oh, that's a good day. Um, so, like, we were talking, you know how we are talking about satellites and stuff? Uh-huh. We were also talking about, like, stereo wave frequencies. Oh, you know, yeah, Radio bro. frequencies. Yeah. Check this out, bro. That's a law right check, there. Check this shit out, bro. It baffled me. I didn't even think about this. There's always music playing. There's always stations playing, right? And you're like, yeah. wait, you could be dead silent in, in your area. You turn on a fucking stereo. It's there, bro. Yeah. Always there. That's crazy, huh? And we, we just can't hear it. The radio can, though, but yeah. we can't hear it. Oh, let's this talk shit about this mind. shit. Okay. Um, shit, you talking about radio frequencies and shit, right? So, you know, <clears throat> I'm give out some keys and shit. Um, <laughs> you know, you, you just got to tune into it, right? Right. Um, so, one, I heard this fun fact. Like, even if you dance into nothing, like, say you at a park with nobody around and you dancing, bro, there's so much music going around in the world to where, like, you're actually coordinating with it. On beat. On beat. Like, if you That's just dance, you just, like. Yeah, you're just, like, fucking. <laughs> yeah. There's a, ra- there's a radio wave just, like, on. You're just, like, doing that to that beat and shit. You yeah. don't even know it. But besides that fact. This is another fact right here, too. Um, just like you turning into, say, the Lubbock radio station, 104.9 The Beat. Right. Right? Say you, wanna, you want to possess something. Yeah. You got to tune into that frequency. Does that make sense? Bars. Like, you got to wake up every day like it's fucking Christmas. Like, you, you already got that bitch. Even right. Even though you ain't got it, you just got to wait for the universe to, like. What is that? You know? Manifesting? Yeah. Manifesting is a frequency. Yeah, exactly. Like, the reason why you have, the reason why I have this shit was because when I had that 11 fucking pro, I fucking wanted this shit. And right. And I tuned into it. Like, right. I'm going to get it, I'm going to get it, I'm going to get it, I'm going to get it. It was always on my mind, right? Right. The reason I got these shoes is like, yo, bro, I fuck with T-Skizzy. Like, I'm going to get those. Like, right. The cover-ups, what? Bro, next thing you know, I'm in a buy, sell, and trade joint. Right. Taking pictures for some people. It's like, you're selling me for 180. I'm like, bet. Um, what's it called? I took your pictures, bro. I won't charge you. All right, right. I'll, I'll sell them to you for a hundred. Like, you know what I mean? Bars. Boom. That's Snag. Your bag. Steal. Let's get it. Hell labor yeah. Labor for dude. labor type shit. But. Flavor for flavor. <laughs> like, all this shit that you have today is because you tuned into that frequency and you got it and you're listening to that music, which is what you have. Right. You know what I mean? Bars, dude. Yeah, that's. that's get your that's, fucking bag. Bro, Luke, key. get your fucking bag, bro. That's a key. I got you. That's a with. key. That's a key witness.
Two. Yes, sir, man. <laughs> He's and then, and the next question is, who are your favorite photographers and videographers? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, these are all questions from clients, collaborators, friends, or people that even follow me on my Instagram that I don't even know, but I actually, like, put this shit down. Um, my favorite photographers are Gunnar Stahl. Uh, these are all film photographers, right. too. Gunnar Stahl. Race Corrupted Mind. He's Ooh. a photographer for the Jack Boys, like Travis Scott, no John shit. Tolliver, Shrek West, Sofago. Uh, they just signed a new guy out of the UK. Yeah, you um, fuck with Don Tolliver hard. Oh, heavy, bro. We about to listen to that motherfucker. <laughs> um, and then, um, so it's Gunnar Stahl, Race Corrupted Mind. Bro, I definitely love uh, William, uh, Willem Verbeek. Verbeek. Will, Willem Verbeek. He's William. A film Will, William? No, nah, Willem. Willem? Willem Verbeek. Willem Verbeek. Yeah. He's a film photographer that's a YouTuber. And he does, like, uh, he does, like, reviews on film cameras. And he shows you, like, what kind of film this, uh, a certain film is, what it'll look like. Right. Or, like, bro, he just walks around neighborhoods and takes pictures of... Uh, like normal shit of like cars and houses but he makes it like from ordinary shit to extraordinary shit like just the composure he does that shit right, like right it's fucking ill as shit you know what i mean and uh you know i watch that shit all the time i, I fucking have that shit like the bell is on type shit just like what i have with your fucking uh youtube oh, make yeah. sure you subscribe like and Fucking comment. Fucking mosh cat, bitch. You know bitch. what I mean? And turn, the, <laughs> turn the fucking bell notification on. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, put but that fucking ringer on, bro. Just like, just like uh, with Willem, bro, like, every time he drops a new video, I watch that shit because it's vibey. He's playing, like, lo-fi music, like, his pictures, no like, his film, like, his shit, ill as shit. Y'all watch Willem Verbeek. And then fourth, uh, my last one is R.I.P. Migs. Who? Uh, R.I.P. Migs on Instagram. His Miggs. name is Migs. It's probably Miguel, but um, what's it called? He's a photographer for uh, uh, a badass artist that I, I got into this year. His name's Larry June. Uh, and I got into him uh, just this year. And, uh, you know, he talks about, like, you know, the shit that I talk about, like getting your money up, getting your mind right, getting right. healthy, and shit like that. So, um, you know he he's his photographer and like he makes his like he films his um you know his his music videos through vhs oh no shit yeah bro like that's that's what i love bro like retro shit like they're all film photographers right and my favorite videographer bro is cole bennett like he'd be making some ill ass like you know who cole bennett is yeah he'd be making some ill ass fucking music videos bro damn that shit's crazy fuck yeah dude I don't even know. Like, I mean, like, I know that there are there there has to be people out there that do all this shit. But like, it, it I'm just it baffles my mind that like these people are, are just behind the scenes making this shit happen. Right. And, and, and they have a name. They have a name behind yeah. all that shit. But like, people don't appreciate. Just them. don't appreciate the uh, fucking. Bro. That's that's a that's a con right there. That I don't that I want to talk about. But um, you know, let's talk about that that. That rappers list you wanted to talk about, bro. The, <laughs> the fuck, not top this ten is, or whatever. This is a fucking <laughs> con right here. Yeah. This shit that I'm about to fucking talk to y'all about. I, I did it with uh, I did it with uh, Rick or Eric Laurent. Shout out to Eric Laurent. I did it with him and shit too. But this fucking list, bro, had me fucking baffled because there were some people on this shit that like shouldn't yeah. be on this fucking list, bro. Right. And it pissed me off. It pissed me off. Give me, give me ten artists that pissed you off that were on that list. So that th don't need to be on that. That list. don't need to be yeah, on there. Yeah, yeah. We'll start with. Uh, ooh, shit. Lil Yachty. He kind of fell off. I don't, I don't, I don't think I've seen an album from him. But he right. got some bangers. Like I like Peekaboo. I like. Call that Minnesota. Um, you know, uh, some other shit too right. that he's with. Right. Uh, but do you think he should be on the Bachelor. worst rappers list? Lil Yachty. Nah, nah yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> you think so? He said, yeah. he said yes. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, he had his moment. I he ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I mean, he used it as a business. That's the thing. The, yeah. The music wasn't Not his. Not straight. He got, he got endorsements and yeah. shit. Yeah. He makes movies. He got, like, doesn't he have like a cereal? Or he has a whole bunch of crazy shit. Yeah. He's got his bag. Sprite. Yep. Yeah, but like, would, but like his music though was trash. It, yeah. Like if you, he got like, if he drops an album or if you show me all his albums, he has like one or two good songs on there. The rest are like weird. Right. You know, but I fuck with Yachty. Okay. You know? Six nine. Yeah. He's on that list. He's on that list. <laughs> yeah, are y'all fucking kidding me? Y'all I think like, he should be I on like, that list? I like a uh, Gooba Wait. or what is it? It must be like, nah. like, I tell it don't dick, Brad. Oh like, yeah. I like that one. <laughs> but like after <laughs> he got hits, but <laughs> it ain't no shit yeah, where like we're. But dude, everybody you know? snitches, bro. <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah, you don't see Young Thug and Gunna snitching. Yeah, that's uh, true. He, he snitched himself he out. He snitched though. himself out, though. Yeah, that's true. They push him P. Yeah, I think I did fuck up, which really fucking sucked because like I was I was really hoping for. In the court of law, you can't. Then why is he still in prison? But they are doing it. Yeah, but like if he can't, but how do they know? Yeah. But well, then why is he in prison then? Shout out, Melly. ARs in two, it, two, threes. It, oh, dude. I, I can't wait. When he comes back, he's going to drop bars, dude. Bars. Hopefully. He's going to have more bars than a prison. <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact. All right. Next. Okay. So some of these are going to get a little bit more like maybe, I don't know. Okay. Uh, Birdman. Bro, he hasn't dropped shit in a minute. I don't even know who that is. What? He's on that list, bro. He yeah. is an OG, bro. He's an OG, but like, it ain't some shit you want to listen to. Fuck out of here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> bro, he's. he's is that, if that's not, but I, honestly, that, that's if that's not the true shit, true shit. Just... He's, a, he's the one who put on uh, Lil Wayne. Yeah. And Lil Wayne put on Drake. Yeah. Vanilla Ice. Ooh, he has that one good song, Ice Ice Baby. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. That one. Right, that I, was, was hard. I, was, I was fucking kidding on that one. Maybe maybe he should be on that one. But um, all right then. <laughs> it's just people that are old. Basically, you. Talking Blueface. About. Uh yeah. What is the fucking wrong with y'all? What is wrong with y'all? Are y'all okay? I mean, it's are y'all just, on some it's just shit more right the now? fact that like. Yeah. Cardi B, she's on this list too. Uh-uh. Yes, yes, she's on the list. Well, I don't know, bro. She did, Man, bro. No, these is red <laughs> bottoms. These is bloody shoes. I don't. I don't even know. Bars. I never liked Cardi B. <laughs> I could not stand Cardi B. Bro. She goes hard on like she with does. her rapping shit. Does. But like, if I could say something about Cardi, it's just like hit up bro, his line. She's hard, bro. And like. Bro, she beat <laughs> Travis Scott from the best album yeah, of the year. That's true. Oh, okay. That's true. Or the rap album of the year, and they, they fucking made a whole ass documentary. And still, why Travis hasn't dropped since Astro World, bro? That's true. Like he was gonna drop some shit last year, but you know what happened? Yeah. Yeah. He's um, just pushing it back. Lil B. Who's that? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> uh, Soldier Boy. Mm, I don't. I don't think once you, this wasn't he like in prison or some shit. It wasn't Soldier so. Boy, huh? Uh-uh. Not well, shit, bro. He's he's still in his old ways, bro. Like he's he's creating Nintendos and shit. That's now. true. That's true. I'm like, bro, create an app. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro, get off your shit. Like motherfuckers are on their phone all the time. What the fuck you doing? Uh, see, I'm, I'm I'm trying to get the uh, the people that you might know. Easy E's on here. What? Damn. Easy E's on this list, bro. That's like crazy. Easy. Luke, what do you think about that Easy E being on the the he's, worst rapper list? He's all right. 
Yeah, that's what I heard too. Ice Cube wrote his. You're gonna do a guy that that died from AIDS like that, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna you do a guy that died from AIDS like that, bro. Hey, man, wrap your willy. <laughs> Don't be silly. What? Yeah, shouldn't I fucking do that shit to him, bro? What hey, the fuck? Should, don't come after us, please. <laughs> We're just playing. We're just JKing over here. Uh, shit. Dude, why'd you say that, bro? Now he's gonna come after us, bro. All right, fuck. number ten, right here. Um, so th- there's two. There's there's two people that I think that should be on there, and then there's one more, right? D- yeah, so I'm gonna do, do two people that I think that should be on there is Nick Cannon. <laughs> I don't even, I don't I don't even know he does he make music? music. Yeah, I that's just, what I've seen. I just seen his music, movies bro. and what? I just seen his movies and like his shows. Like while and out, that shit fire. That shit funny as Tom McDonald. I don't know who that is. Ooh, Luke, you know, Yeah, exactly. Fuck Tom McDonald. Tom McDonald. One hundred percent. And then no clue. Riff Raff should not be on this list, but he uh, is. You're he's cool. Riff raff, bro. Come he, on. He's came to Amarillo before. Yeah, give him some slide, bro. Don't say some shit. <laughs> Dude, he's like a lyrical genius. Aquaberry Dolphins? Bro, who makes that shit up? I see I see, I see Husky. You know what I'm saying? Like he makes some crazy shit. Who? Dom? <laughs> Free Slim. Free Slim. <laughs> He's in uh he's in the banger right now. I don't know if you knew that, yeah. Dom? Yeah. Yeah, it's alright. He knows. No way. Yeah. He's in the pin. He's in the pin right now. Yeah. I we'll talk about it later. That. I called him Free like slim. a month ago. Yeah, it was that month. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, he, he Um uh, one more, one more. <laughs> Yin Yang twins. I don't know who that is. You don't know who the fuck Yin Yang twins are? No. Get up on y'all's shit, bro. What are y'all talking about? I'm Gen Z. They made some bangers, bro. They made some bangers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're like OGs or whatever. Leave them alone. Eminem should be on that list, though. Yeah. Wait, what? Eminem's on the list? No, he needs to be. What the fuck are you talking about? Bro, come on. He got some fire shit. He had some fire shit. And then he just started dissing everybody. Um, I'm I'm yeah. waiting for him to diss me. I stopped. It's, I just, stopped. Old, it's just old <laughs> shit, bro. I stopped listening to him when he dissed Machine Gun Kelly. That yeah. wasn't that long yeah, ago, that, was but, it? See, it was that's like a pinnacle, three, four years. bro. Bro, no yeah. lie, that's a pinnacle. That's uh, the pinnacle. The reason the reason people stopped listening to Eminem right whenever Machine Gun Kelly started talking to shit. Why? Because nobody fucking touched him until Machine Gun Kelly did. And you know what? I might not like Machine Gun Kelly, but I like that he fucking did that. I respect him for it. Because he was the one that changed music for everybody. He was like, fuck you. Fuck you, Eminem. Nobody gives a fuck. I'm going to do it. Yeah, it was something about his daughter, too. Or yeah. Something like that, right? Like, he gave no fucks. And, like, you can hate Machine Gun Kelly or whatever. Fucks, like, all you want. But he was the he was the guy that said, fuck you, Eminem. Facts. But, bro, the, the Homeboy is cool as shit. Like, yeah. And bro. he's doing, like, some other shit. Like, I'm, I'm past that, like. I'm too old for that kind of music or whatever. I don't know what it is, but crazy though. Like he, he's fucking making movie. He's making. He's making crazy I watched his movies. documentary the other day. Yeah, he's, he has a fucking movie. He like, got hella movies. He got like I mean, five, six, oh, seven but, movies. But didn't he? Didn't they break up? Didn't Megan? I don't know. Hey, but can still, you see if uh, uh, Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox broke up? If your internet works. Bro, but when I went to um, Colorado, bro, I went to like. The amusement park there Right And turns out He was there Two days before I went No shit Yeah Did I ever tell you About the story that And that I watched his documentary Like a couple days before Or a few days Before I went to Colorado Did I tell you the story That um this my shit About right? how I Almost met um Post Malone Do you remember Post Malone what night, yeah, It's September. September bro Huh I haven't heard that story Yeah dude so um, so I was working uh, at Furniture Garage in Amarillo with my ex homie, fuck you, with my ex homie, um, fuck you again. Um, <laughs> but we were just chilling, and he was like, "Bro, let's go to a Seven Bar after work and, and drink and shit." And I was like, "Ah, I'm kind of tired. Uh, I kind of want to just go to my other homeboy's house and vibe." 
and uh, fucking Post Malone was there, yeah. and he bought everybody fucking drinks. Oh, I went to bed shit. early and everything. They called my ass. They're like, dude, come through, bro. Like, he's here, and I didn't fucking get it. Yeah. The day he, he went to a fucking guitar center and bought like $3,000 worth of shit, and then Damn. went to house, uh, bar, bar 7 and fucking bought everybody drinks, and he was just chilling with homies. Yeah, I seen that No shit. bodyguards, nothing. He was just chilling. It was like three years ago, four years ago. Yeah, this is when like he just like popped off with like, Congratulations yeah. and then, like his first album and shit. Yeah, it was Amarillo, bro. He was just yeah, here I'm for a, a fucking, fucking spin. Yeah. I was like, bro, how the fuck did I miss that Route shit? 66. I'm fucking dumb. I could have had, I could have started my podcast then. Get oh, fucking facts. posty on my pod. I get posty on my pod now. Post Malone, run my shit, bro. <laughs> Always manifest that shit, bro. Nah, for sure. Um, this bro, Post Malone got some nice swag though. Yeah, you dude. He has fucking um. You know, I like it because it looks like he just got out of bed. <laughs> you know? He's nappy and shit. Yeah, he's just... I mean, I wouldn't say nappy. It's just like a clean... A clean fuck you. You know? A clean fuck you clothing. <laughs> where it's just like, I just woke up and I'm just going to put this jersey on and some shorts and like drink like 80, 80 Bud Lights and like three packs of cigarettes. Yeah. He smokes that much, bro. Yeah, I've he seen smokes that. that like, much. He smokes like two days... <laughs> Two, three packs a day? I'm like, what the fuck, dude? I could barely... I, I don't know if I could... I could probably smoke a pack in a night, probably. Fuck that. It's it just depends on what it is. I just drink water. You still smoke, Luke? No, you're clean. Remember we used to do the fucking menthol 72s, bro? I smoke. The menthol 72s, bro. <laughs> nah. I got one left. He, has a, he, he smokes American spirits. He's the guy that's like, I'm going to smoke for an hour. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the greenery. Wait, do you, do you still smoke the greenery? I can't smoke green, bro. I told Yeah, you know that. My anxiety. It doesn't help the, with your anxiety? The what? It doesn't help your anxiety? No, it makes it worse. Dude, it helps Word. mine. It makes it so much worse. I, I think it's different for everybody just depending on the yeah. gas, I guess. Yeah. You I've, know, uh, I've it had... The same goes with like... Um, Psychedelics, right? Like, you could have done psychedelics in high school and tripped your fucking balls off, right? But like, shit. Say now, life is better. You're 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 good financially for your stress. You got good company around you. You got a different mind flow. Like you hit psychedelics now, it's just like you ain't tripping no more. It's just like right, you, had, you know. I, I've done I've done a few strands where it's kind of chilled me out, but yeah. But it's hard to find strands that will work because if it's too much of a Percentage on THC, I'll, I'll fucking fly out You're of like, here. Dee, 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 dee. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing aliens and shit. <laughs> Dude, for real, man. Last time I smoked, I thought I was in a spaceship. Yeah. I was like, I'm going out of here. <laughs> is, no, it, is, it, is it catching the, the music bro, pretty some high? Of my first time, I think it is a little Just bit. a little bit. Some of my first time smoking weed, bro. Or it was my first time smoking weed. I was smoking with this guy. And, uh. We'll be catching everybody. I remember we was we was in this truck, bro, and I I sit back just a little bit, and I was like, whoa! <laughs> you like, whoa. I, was seeing, I saw like the loading bar off of the like you know when you turn <laughs> when when your phone dies. Yeah. You know you see that loading bar, and then it goes like the little buffering circle. <laughs> yeah, and then it's just like all right, I see clouds, and then I see fucking horses, and then the stars, and I'm like, whoa! You're like, why are we going so fucking fast? No way, bro. And then Luke was fucking laughing. His hey, ass did, off. is this Pitbull? Like yeah, oh, yeah, the yeah. the loop? Uno, dos, yeah. tres. Well, they sampled this shit. Uno, dos, tres. Uh. Um, Dale. Hey, he had to have sampled um, that shit, bro. Look at that. He had to have. That, that, I feel it. I feel he, he had sampled to be that shit. On that bitch, just smoke it. If if nobody's heard that, if nobody heard that shit, and, and there's a lo- there's a lawsuit somewhere. For sure, Thanks. with Pitbull fucking doing that stuff. Hey, well, did uh, did uh, Megan Fox and did my phones just bro? Broke. They're still together, the bro. Is. They have to. They, they're not together, bro. bro. They're not together. Bet. Is How Megan much? Fox and Machine Gun Kelly? I together? get your left shoe if I'm right. Wait, huh? <laughs> is Megan Fox <laughs> and Machine Gun Kelly still together? It's still going strong. <laughs> no, it ain't. No, it ain't. That's crazy. Dang. It's all that blood pack that they did, bro. Yeah, man. It's that blood pack that they did. They're like, nah. we're here for the long run, dude. Most death, but 
Going on to the next question, bro. You wanted to ask me. Let's talk about my clothing brands. Oh and yeah, the influences dude. of them. I be I be seeing some stuff you post on there. Yeah. I'm like just I'm waiting for you to drop some shit so I can cop trust it me, so bro. I can wear it on here, bro. Just wait, cause bro, trust me, like the shit I'm gonna come up with, crazy. But it's just a matter of time. It's a matter and of plus, time. Plus, like the manufacturers. It's all on the bro, art. The it's all on the fucking get up. The manufacturers be lacking like crazy. Uh, like I be hitting up motherfuckers from South Carolina, Milwaukee, fucking Arkansas and shit, fucking New York. Like they're over here. I'm not, bro. I, I'm, I'm like I got a fuck little shit going on. I, I won't be able to get you till like October, right? November and shit. Right. Like, God. And you're damn. like, dude, I need it now, bro. Yeah, but you know, I'm gonna spill the beans since it's Ooh, coming out. Spill it. Um, the reason for Trey Waves. Um, like what influenced me on that was, you know, it was going to be first called the new wave, but, um, what's it called? Like with that, um, it was already like copywritten and, and trademarked and it was a website and shit. And so that's why I, I was like, yo, let's name it the new wave right. or, you know, Trey waves. And then next thing you know, like two months later, Takashi six, nine started popping fucking Trey Way. Oh, yeah, shit. Trey Way. I was like, fuck. You know? I was over here like, oh, I want to make prints and shit, but motherfuckers going to be gooning on me. <laughs> <laughs> He's saying that he came up with that shit. Nah, he, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, I came up with Trey Waves because, <laughs> well, honestly, we was, we was in the truck, right? We was just blissed as fuck. Yeah, and I was like, think about it, bro. Everything comes better in three. You know right. I mean? Like, Trey. like, and fucking Ready Player One. How many keys did the fucking the the nigga who made the whole game? Oh yeah, he threw out three keys, right? right? Yo, get these three keys, you get the fucking egg or whatever right. the fuck. You get fucking five hundred trillion or some shit, right? Or half of five hundred trillion, or, or like I don't fucking know. Um, uh, and then you know, the, how many crosses were up when Jesus was crucified? Uh, on what day did Jesus rise from him being dead? Tres. You know, how many strikes and outs are in baseball? Tres. Um, you know, how many... How many pumps do I do before I how come? How many months are in, a, in a season? Three, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. Like, I, I was just, like, training and, you know, basketball. I love shooting the three, you know. Call it the tray. Right. And I was like, it's three waves. <laughs> and then there's three waves in life. It's just you being a kid. Adult, elder. Yep. You know yep. what I mean? Um, you know, there's so much that goes into it, bro. And, and, but at the end of it all, bro, um, what really influenced me, I just love West Coast culture, bro. Right. Like, I just, like, my whole life, motherfuckers be like, yo, Damar, are you from, like, you're not from here, bro. Like, right. are you from ca California or some shit? you from, like, Pluto? you yeah, from Uranus or something? Some shit. Shit, from, bro. Out of the Milky Way, I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. So, what influenced me is because I'm Amarillo and like Friona and shit is like in the middle of the United States, right? So I felt like I was I, I was obligated to fuck with both sides of the hemisphere, right? And so with that, it's like, all right, cool. I'm gonna fuck with like you know West Coast shit, you know. All right, cool. We're gonna get our skater vibes, you know, streetwear. You know, oversized, you know, like, there's three waves, don't drown. Like, that's the slogan. Like, there's water over there, fucking, you know, big waves. Right. Fucking, um, you know, Malibu, people be surfing and shit. Um, you know, and and that's 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 what I want to bring, bro. It's like, you know, it's tray waves, don't drown. Like, you got to hold yourself accountable. Like, you know what I mean? Don't, don't strike out. You got three chances, you know, you live three lives, you know what I mean? Like, you know, uh, you know, just go crazy with it, you know what I mean? Don't right. drown, bro. Like, keep your composure. And then, you know, keep on going. the other side of the hemisphere, this is this is why I'm barely popping out now because it's, it's, it's about to get printed. I'm getting the logo done right now as we speak. But um, it's called Spectro. Spectro? Yeah, S-P-E-K-C-T-R-O. Okay. And the K and the C are together. Right. Because Spectra's already took, but if it's a K in the C, you see the, you know, the K, right? Right. It's like that. Right. 
but in the K, it's a C. Oh, it's a C. Yeah. Shit Dang. sick, bro. So, and then the O is Pluto. Or, like, just a planet with, like, a ring right. on it and shit. Hell yeah, yeah dude. so it's gonna be sick as fuck. Some uh, retro and just, shit. And I just want, I just feel like I'm gonna do that shit because it's, you know, it's spectro. I feel like it's spectrum with retro. Right. Um. So like, I'm gonna mix the retro shit with the new shit. You know, high end, high fashion. Like, we're gonna do this shit. Shit's legit. Off, the, off the fucking spectrum. Yeah, bro. Like, fashion week, high fashion, like London. Like, let's go there. Get fucking you know? emerald on the fucking map on some, some fashion shit. Yeah. Bro, like, I'll be down to fucking run some shit up in the fuck, butt fuck middle yeah, nowhere. Panhandle type shit. Yeah, like, panhandlers, you know what I mean? We we out here doing some shit, you know right. what I mean? There's, there's so much shit over here, it's crazy, bro. Like, we were just talking about, Brexton said that he came back from Dallas, uh-huh. and he's met more people here than he did in fucking Dallas, which is fucking crazy to me because, like, there's but that's with me, too. Out. There's more people out there, but here it's just, like, smaller, so yeah. you feel obligated to meet people, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, but but that's the thing too is like coming from, from our hometown and shit. Like, if you look on my on my side page, uh-huh. all those the 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 three hundred and some odd fucking followers that I have, uh-huh. those were organic people that I met here. Like, dude, literally like maybe a handful of fucking homies, um, followed me on that fucking page, and then yeah. all the rest of them are fucking people that I met doing this shit. I feel you, bro. Cause same like we hit three hundred almost at the same time. You hit it before me. But, like, a week and a half later, I hit 300 on my right. photography page. That's what I'm just saying, bro. people that I know. Yeah, just people that you just say, hey, you got my fucking Insta. That's, I'm, I'm always on that bitch. Yeah, and so. And we're almost there. I'm almost to fucking 200 on my subscribers on YouTube, bro. 200. Oh, yeah, I seen it. I seen Organies. it. Organies. And I was baby. just looking at the views and shit, and I was like, I'm, I'm one of your ones that yeah, get top views. But there was one dude who geeked. He got, like, 600. Yeah, fucking Diabolic. Yeah. Damn. But Diabolic's OG, bro. He's yeah. the one that, that's been, he, I mean, he, he's been rapping since fucking the 90s. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's a he's an OG, bro. Fucking, I have a little surprise for that sh- for that guy, too, but we ain't going to talk about that right now. <laughs> For sure. So, but fucking yeah, that, that was with my, like, fashion and shit, bro. Like, that's when it, like, influenced me. Like, you know, I just feel like I could do whatever I want, you know? Right. Where but are we at? Updating the world with what's going on right now. Oh, dude. R.I.P. to the queen, bro. Yeah, dude. <laughs> the queen fucking is dead, dude. She fucking yeah. dead, dude. I think her son, like, King Charles. Yeah, he's like... They, they took no, like, here's the thing, you know, it, it's a tragedy a person died. Yeah. But they took no fucking time for any of that shit. She fucking died, and he goes, I'm up next. And they were like, boom, right there, like, within minutes, bro. No, they had to. That's, that's I know they have is, to, but. That's how it is if the president dies, bro. Like. Right, right. It's up. just crazy to me. She's been here for fucking ages. She surpassed Betty White, bro. Bro. And Betty White, I, which was crazy because I forgot that she died, you know, but. It, it was just crazy. Bro, she had the illest style ever, bro. Yeah, dude. Like, I was just looking, like, a recap of, like, all the years. She was Golden like, Girls. Ah. Uh, bro. Not not Betty White. I'm talking about the queen, bro. The queen. But Betty White did have some Steve. She has, I mean, both but of them. But the queen, bro, she got, like, crazy colors, hats, feathers. Yeah, she, 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 she knew what the fuck she was talking to uh. Fucking she had nasty. fucking Louis Vuittons for sure. Michael Kors. Of course, bro. She's from England. You know what I mean? That's Gucci. That shit. I don't know what they have over there. Bro. Everything. It's a, it's a whole different world out there, bro, with fashion. Motherfuckers just be walking. One shoe. on the daily because it's just the norm. You know right, what I mean? Right. Even if they have money or not, like, they still figure it out. Like, you see like how crazy like, there's somebody out there that spends at least 10 k on breakfast. Shit. You know what I'm saying? You'd be surprised, bro. Ten k, just uh, just a fucking ten rack, yeah. just fucking on breakfast, bro. Breakfast. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but you know, fuck it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. You gonna blow that shit? That's fucking wild, dude. Like they have that, they have that money not to worry about it, and you're Excuse like, yeah, ten, me. ten G's on breakfast. I'm, I'm jacking off for that. <laughs> it's in my fucking couch right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, besides the R.I.P. Um, to the Queen. Yeah, R- uh, the Queen. I what was gonna talk going to you on? about. Um, I don't know why it's been on my fucking mental lately, but man, climate change is a fucking wild thing, bro. You think so? I just 
So, like, my theory, like, I don't know why it's, like, heavy on my mind recently, but, like, it, it's just one of those weird things that I've been thinking about, like, you know how people are, th like, are talking about, like, the world getting hotter? And I'm like, yeah, cool. The world's getting hotter for sure. But what happens when the fucking, the icebergs melt? You know how, uh, like, I you know how, like, you get warm water, right? You have a warm glass of water. Yeah. You have, like, a, a room temperature water, right? Yeah. And you put a fucking ice cube in that bitch. What happens to the water? So it's cold. It gets cold. So we're gonna we're gonna have global we're gonna have global warming, right? Mm -hmm. And it's gonna heat the earth and those glaciers are gonna pull off from where they're from into the ocean that is already at room temperature for what the earth is or whatever. That's gonna cool down the fucking oceans. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And those glaciers are fucking huge. And the only the top surface of the ocean is the old is the, the warmest. That's all it is. You get yeah, deeper yeah. down there, it's already cold. It's going to add more water, and it's going to be more cold. Right. So if you got cold water, and you got you got more water, and you got cold water. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But you get cold water with rising water, and then you get our weather. What happens when cold water gets colder? Snow. Ice. We're going to go into another fucking ice age, bro. That's my theory. And mm. it's really it's really bothering me because everybody's like, yeah, the, the earth's getting hotter for sure. Definitely. I mean, like fucking Texas hits 120 on a good day, which is totally Thanks. fine or whatever. But what happens when everything gets cold? What the fuck are we going to do? Would you rather have it hot than cold? I'd rather, yeah, we would definitely would rather have it hot than, than fucking cold. Because we, we can't grow anything. Bows is hot. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? True, we yeah. can't grow anything with... with with yeah. how cold it but gets. At the same time, if it's too hot, it'll burn. Ah. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> if we turn into a desert, like what's what's stopping Africans from in Africa thriving there? Yeah. Or Australians living there? You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it's super hot, but I mean it's basically almost like desert to nothing over there. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it hits to America, at least we have land, and at least we have something to cover our crops to where we can grow but if it gets cold out here bro like it's it it's it bro <laughs> animals start dying our crops stop dying i didn't say they can just make a bunch of greenhouses like, greenhouses like indoor sure. indoor planting facilities that could support it yeah but but how the fuck are you gonna do that when you have like i don't know twenty thousand cows you're you gonna build a facility for that bitch you think um i get knocked down but I get up again. There's always a way. We're going to live underground. Bro, I was thinking about this shit. I watched Wally, bro. Wally's my shit. Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, yeah. I remember seeing that shit in theaters. Yeah, Wally's so, crazy. That's what I'm bro. saying. So, like, you think about it, you think it's going to be like that to where motherfuckers are going to be yes. floating on a bitch? We, just, might, we just, might be in space, yeah, bro. This shit like a fucking wheelchair and shit. You just flowing, just flowing, flowing. What yeah, pisses flowing. me off the most is that. Humans right now are saying, oh, we fucked up this earth so much that we're going to go to another planet, bro, to fuck it up more. Mars, bro, get out of here, bro. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to be the person to be like, yeah. It's our last fucking planet. Is it? Yeah, but we, like, dude. Yeah, we've evolved, but like we have we have done substantial amounts of damage to the earth where we cannot bring that shit back last month we hit the record breaking overuse of the of the natural resources that the earth provides you know how fucking crazy that shit is really we've hit we've overused oil we've overused water we've overused our crop to the point where earth can't be sufficient for what we are using it for what? you know how fucking crazy that shit is <laughs> Where Earth can't even provide us anything anymore, bro. That, that to help us survive. Tripping. We have microplastics, bro. Facts. In our water. Yeah, you seen that? How they get like a fucking like a net, and they just like flow it. Yeah. Like they just have it outside the boat and shit. To the point where in that bottle right there, you're probably you're probably drinking microplastics right now. Uh, you bitches, don't make me think like that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. 
Yeah. Dude. I went to Port like I, I'm not talking shit on Puerto Rico because I love Puerto Rico. But I went to Puerto Rico, dude. They are hurting over there, bro. Doesn't taste like micro plastics. <laughs> <laughs> what <are> they do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. Like, I'm not gonna see the. En- I'm not gonna see the end. <laughs> but besides that going on, man. I'm going to live my life and enjoy it every fucking minute, every second, while we still can, you know what I mean? Right. So. Yeah, I'm still going to throw, I'm, I'm still going to litter for sure. I'm just kidding. I'm not littering. Mosh Cast does not support litter. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Fucking, what else is on that list, dude? Man, I, I'm. That's <sighs> good. The next question is, what's one thing you wish you knew when you started photography? I think we talked about that. I wish I wish I knew that is hard. I think I like I knew it, it came with a lot of money, but with it being hard with like time management and shit, like right, you know, moving and grooving, you know, that's one thing I knew. And then okay, hold on, me. The next one. Hold on. 
because I want to get to the second one whenever we get there. That one's a good one. Which one? Um, would you ever get into adult film or nudity? <laughs> uh, These shit. are your fans asking? Yeah. Bro, 100% do it. <laughs> well, I'm telling you right now. Did, I already did a couple OF shoots. Oh, yeah, boudoir. Boudoir photos. I think that's what it's called. Boudoir. I don't know. But... <laughs> Only yeah. fan, like, like, is it like pictures? Yeah. Yeah, boudoir. That's what they call them, boudoir photos. I did that. French. Um, I think that's what it's from. And it was, it was just pee, bro. Like, I went in, shook her hand, composure, like, you know. Twi- it was t- two of them. Um, I said, this is what I do. This is what I offer. Like, you know what I mean? We just met up. I threw some music on. Got it. Got down. And... Right then and there, I I uploaded them to my iPad, edited them, and I deleted them in her face. Right. You know what I mean? Right now. It's, it's her like right. investment. Right. You know what I mean? It's her work. It's it's like she's making money out. Like she paid me. Right. Before we even started. You know what I mean? They pay legitimately, bro. Right. And they see it as an investment. You know what I mean? They love my aesthetic, and so they hit me up. But uh. Yeah, bro. I mean, I know later on, later in the line, it's just gonna be like I'm gonna have, you know, a big network. Uh, I'm gonna know a lot of people, a lot of creatives, and uh, what's it called? With that, it's like cool. Like somebody working for Pornhub might hit me up, but like, yo, bro, like homeboy's sick. Come come get this film in with me. Right. Bet. Let's rock. Like I won't make it a career, but like you know, or like you'll make it. You'll make it a part of your career. Yeah. You know what I mean. I won't be like wake up every day and like jack off to this shit. <laughs> you right, know what I mean? Right. Like I just like, you know, if you need me, let me know. Or you know, like if it's a client, if, like a client that I already had. Right. Like, oh, me and my husband want to do a part of. Come shoot this. I'm like, sack it to me. How many? How much would you say that would be? I mean, shit. I've been going up on my price, bro. Like I started at like one ten, one eleven when I first started. Now I'm right. at two hundred an hour. Just with like my investments with my cameras, you know, film development, all that shit. So, you know, and even if I get a call from from Playboy, like I'll be down to do that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I, the two uh, OnlyFans shoots that I did was, you know, from word of mouth. You know, my right. friends. Like, right. There was a friend that I knew from a long time ago. She saw me at the club doing a birthday photo shoot. She's like, Yo, what the? Here's my number. Like, I got a new number. And I was like, I've been calling. I've been trying to call you. Just, like, check up on you. you know? Yeah. She's like, here's my number. Yeah, they deleted my shit. I got a new phone. I broke my phone. Like, they always delete my Instagram and because I do this. I'm like, oh, that's crazy. But, you know, you still do numbers, though, right? Right. And she was like, yeah, like, I got an OF. And I was like, oh, shit. She's like, that's why I want to call you. Like, I'll send you my location. Let's get it in. I don't care how much you, how much you, like, she, right. like, I showed her my work. Right. She's like, what are you doing here? I'm like, I'm doing a photo shoot. She's like, what? For real? Let me see your work. Cool. And I was like, yo, like, where you been? I've been trying to call you. And she was like, well, I got a new phone. I always got my shit deleted because people reported and shit. And Which is dumb. There, yeah, we connected. I hate that shit. I got her location. She's like, come over tomorrow. Like, let's, let's plot this shit out. And then the following week, we did it. Hell yeah, so, dude. And then after that, she has a friend that does it. And just word of mouth. Yes. And now it's just going to be a part of the, your career. Yeah. Hey, man. And I'm not it, ashamed it of it either. You, no, no. You know what I mean? Sex like, work, bro. Like, sex work is, is, a, is a work of its own, bro. Yeah. It, I, I, I mad down, respect. It was bound to happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? I have mad respect for sex workers and all that shit, man. They, um, to be honest, they make the world go round. Facts. <laughs> I'm not even lying, bro. Like, uh-huh. sex sells, bro. And that's how it is. That's fuck. And. It sells so much, it's free. Dude, it, <laughs> dude, it sells so much that if you know what you're doing in that world, you yeah. can make a 10K grip. in two weeks, bro. A grip, yeah. That's why they, they didn't hesitate. Sell your fucking feet, Luke, they I paid swear me. to God. That's why they paid me, that's why they paid me $200 an hour, no bro, hezzy. If you, if, if, you, if you tear down that wall and you accept... Your body and you accept for accept, accept you for who you are, and you're not doing anything with anybody, bro. If I had a body, 
if I if I did I would go to I would go to fucking um what was what's that place? It's not Tinder, it's the other one, Grinder. Yeah. So dude dude they men love men and I will let men love me and I can get fucking ten G's off of photos. I don't give a fuck, dude. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> don't give a shit. I will I will go nah. everywhere. I will be I'll everywhere. I'll be on OnlyFans, I'll, I'll be on Grinder, I'll be on Tinder baby, Twitter. I don't give a shit. Nah, I delete that shit, bro. I don't do that shit. No, I don't have Twitter. I'm old school. I'm just saying, no, if I'm, I was, if I I'm was in sex about, work, I don't have Tinder. I don't have nothing, bro. Oh, nothing. Yeah. Yeah, you too. No, I don't have. I, shit. I attempted it for like a month, cause I got that free month deal, like premium. Oh or yeah. The fuck. And bro, I was like, you know, talking mm. to shotties left and right, adding them on Snap, uh-huh. and the area went on a couple of dates. Bitches weird. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude, you should use. You should use that. You should use it. You should use it for uh, for your your business. Just be on Tinder and be like, I ain't trying to look for no hoes, but I, like I'm down to get you get you some pictures and shit. You know. Nah. Bro, you can put. You can literally just advertise anywhere. Yeah. Literally. Yeah, that, advertise yo, anywhere. I, I told. I told uh, Sadzilla. Shout out to. Shout out to Zadzilla and Booty Gum, but they made a song called Hot Girl Shit. And I was like, bet your ass this is going to be on a porn music video, bro. Uh, <laughs> yes. No, I was not, like, not I was not like dude, you should promote it that way. You should promote it on not your yet, but fucking, it could be. Yeah, yeah, on Red yeah, Tube, yeah. dude. I, I feel you. Just like Bars. with like club music. You yeah. know what I mean? This shit banging, bass banging crazy. Fuck, dude. Oh, oh, yeah, this shit finna be in a fucking. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be in a compilation video. For sure. 100%. But, Another question on uh, top of that says, when you go out to shoot, do you take any essential items other than your camera? Bro, I take my water. Your bottle of waters? I take my water. I take extra char- I take my chargers. I take a full charge fucking speaker. Speaker? Essential as fuck. You got to have jams in the shoot, bro. What do you, uh, what do you listen to whenever you're doing... The client's playlist. Oh, it's a cl- the client's playlist. Yep. No shit. I never thought of that. Think about it, bro. Huh. It's all about them. But at the same time, when you dance into the music that they like, that right. breaks the ice and lets them be themselves. And then plus, it's like on some shit where, like, you know, I could tell them, like, yo, like, you know, you should do this, you could do that. Right, like, right. Are, you know, some people already come from their own skin. So that's my essential, bro. Uh, extra SD cards, my other cameras, extra rolls of film. Um, you know, shit, my backpack, I have sunglasses, backpack. your Oakleys. Nah, you can't, you can't be on some shit like this. Bro. You can't. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. even, even if you try, like, <coughs> it's wild. I mean, what, what is um? Numbers. What's one of the, what's one of the things that that that. Is weird that gets requested a lot. For an essential or an essential. A fanny pack. Oh really? It's not weird, but like it's just something you could do that shit. That's where I have my shit, but like I'd rather carry all my shit in my backpack. But you know, uh, I went to Phoenix. Um and I carried my fanny pack around and you know, I didn't carry this camera, it was my film camera. Right. I bought a few rolls of film and I was like I'm going to walk around downtown Phoenix, Arizona and just get some, you know, some regular pictures of just, like, some cars, some buildings, you know, some apartments and shit. Like, right now, bro, I have, like, almost 20 rolls of film not developed in my car. No shit. That's, like, 600, 700 pictures. Fuck, dude. It's crazy. I sent it to my guy in Arizona that develops my shit. It's shit. shit. It's $20. So, bro, a roll costs, like, 10 to 20 $30. But to develop it, it's another twenty dollars. Oh shit! So, you know that's why a lot of people are like, yo, like, why you charge so much, bro? I'm like, dude, like, you charge my, t- I'm charging for my time. One, we gotta edit the fucking yeah. the digital ones. Two, we gotta develop the film ones. You know, it's crazy. Um, but but that, but that goes. Yeah, you're expensive, but at the same time, like, how much are you? How much are you actually getting that after the whole investment of like that shoot? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like not even a hundred. You know? Yeah. And that's so like so like so like 
it's not really going into your pocket. It's going into the the business. Yeah. It's going into the back in, to the business. You know, back to back to what you are looking for as a as a piece of photography. Yep. Like if you want this shit, uh, you're gonna pay this amount. Most of it is going to you, and then but I'm reinvesting. Yeah, it, I'm yeah. reinvesting it, and then there's a service fee, which would be less than nothing to you. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. That's the same thing with all businesses, man. Like if you're starting up. I'm sorry, you're not gonna see a whole bunch of money coming in your pocket. Nah, fuck no. You're gonna see like but maybe like twenty bucks, fifty bucks, you know. True, but I mean, I was already trading before this, so I took that the profits from that to the cameras and shit. Right, you right. know what I mean? So I'm straight, like you know. But you know, with me just maneuvering how I know how to, and you know, talking to people, and like not being scared. Right. You know, that's 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 why I, I, I haven't struggled, bro. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm never not busy. You feel me? Exactly. Because I built a network before this for business and yeah. investing. But at the same time, like, with building that high network, I didn't burn any bridges to the point where, boom, I started out like, yo, like, let's get a shoot in. Like, I just picked up a camera. From there, I, start, I slowly started charging. You know what I mean? From charging to going places to going places to charging more, reinvesting, getting more cameras. I got a drone. You know what I mean? I got a film camera. I got this camera. I got a 6K camera in Lubbock just sitting there because I don't want to touch it. Right. Until I get the whole setup. Like, I still need two other lenses. It's four, like 1,400. Uh, and then another one's like 1,000. And then I want a couple of flashes that are right. three hundred dollars. Yeah, so. you get those umbrellas and a backdrop yeah. and a fucking you know, all the all the things that people don't think about, but that goes into all that shit. Yeah, bro. And a lot of people don't know. Like, I, I have a lot of photographer friends that live in the middle of buttfuck nowhere. You know, like middle of Kansas or fucking Oklahoma. Right. And shit. And, and I'm like, bro, like I, I'm the same way. Like I came from a small ass town. Just turn. Like you're a creative, just turn something to nothing, right? Or turn nothing to something, right? You know what I mean? Like, bro, like, work have it. Somebody like on the roof or some shit. You yeah. know what I mean? Do some shit in your fucking room or, right. you know, uh, shit. Do something out of the ordinary yeah. that nobody's ever fucking do, done. Like, bro, I'm gonna be so unordinary, bro. I'll be down to do some shit like next month. Right. I'm down to go in a fucking sewer and then to the point where someone's dressed up as it. Right. Doing and some do shit. some shit like yeah. that. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, let's 100%. get in that bitch. Like, or let's get in the fucking, Be like, uncomfortable, bro. Yeah, on some Teenage Ninja Turtle shit. Yeah. Like, you so know? Like, it's going to be weird as fuck, but, like, when is it not going to be Yeah, weird? go in your basement and get some blankets and take some yeah. pictures. You know what be, I mean? And make that shit the backdrop. Yeah. Do do you do you like working like like you're saying like uh, creatives and shit? Do you like working with creatives? Yeah, bro. I I love working with creatives, bro. I just hate people who who think they're better than everybody. You know what I mean? Like I want to learn from you, bro, because you know some shit I don't know. Right. And I might know some shit you don't know. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like people want my presets. See, that that's the thing too. I have a hard a hard time dealing with too. Is like I've caught a few people. I'd be asking them, hey, bro, like, let me let me get you on pod, you know? Let me let me yeah. talk to you for a second. They have like, they have they have a substantial amount of followers on Spotify or whatever, yeah. but it's not like bucos. It's not like they're famous or whatever. And they're like, yeah, bro, if you pay me. What? Yeah, and I'm like, I would if I could, but I ain't making money off of this shit. Yeah. And, and like, I get your hype and like you you feel yourself and shit, bro, but. I'm doing a service for you, just like you're doing a service for me. Yeah. I scratch your back, you scratch mine. That's how it's supposed to be. And that's that's the I think that's the tough thing about working with creatives sometimes. Like yeah. you said, the, the, they think they're better than everybody else. So yeah. it's like say so pay me. Yeah, it's like bro well, like I get it, like you know, say pay me once you get like hundreds of thousands of millions of views, that's different. Right. Right. But, you know, you just starting off, bro, and you're consistent with it and shit, but, you know, that shit's kind of whack, bro. Exactly. You know, I'm doing this shit so, you know, future generation, my future generation can see this shit. You know, it's value. It's keys that I'm dropping. Right. You know what I mean? To the has, point where. Uh, has there been a, uh, ever a situation where you're like, damn, like, you, you get to a, you get to a, a customer or whatever or uh -huh. a creator that you're working with and you're like, 
fuck like his vibes fuck like, yeah. I can't work with this shit. I told you, bro. Like, I, I feel that shit. Like, I give opportunities, bro. Like, I'm about to do another wedding next month. Right. And homeboy's already, like, he's trying to take all the fucking profit. I'm like, bro, first of all, I gave you the fucking opportunity. Second of all, you only, bro, we only split. You only going to let me have 5% of the whole deal? Like, what? Right. What? And you made that shit happen. Yeah. That's like, what's crazy, bro. Come on, fam. Like, let's... Let's 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 be grown here, bro. Like right. I know you're my age. Like, you know, what I mean, you be geeking on the camera and shit, but like, still, like, fuck you doing, bro? Yeah. Like let's 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 break bread. Like you can't bite the hand that feeds. Yeah, exactly. Like we're both doing equally the same amount of work. Like I'm doing the drone work, I'm doing the montage work. You know what I mean? Like, I just hate that shit, bro. Right. Like, and that's what I'm saying. Like, you know. I'm here to give you opportunity, bro. I'm here to fucking get you experience. More right. experience than what you already have. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, let's break bread, bro. Like, what the fuck you doing? Like, say we're doing a wedding for 3K. You want 2500 and you leave me with 500 What? Yeah, yeah. Are you stupid? I mean, Are you dumb? Fuck? It's dirty. Dirty as fuck, dude. Dirty yeah. shit. Like, you know what I mean? So, like, I'm like, fuck that shit, bro. But, you know, we talked it out. I had to like I'm like bro like Yeah like hey, you motherfucker poop. Yeah, I was like bro, <laughs> you know like I I'm getting you a place to stay. Yeah. Two, I'm giving you this opportunity. Yeah. This Three, is my fucking I'm table, doing most bro. of the work. You're you don't even my table, Exactly. Bro. You ain't even you ain't even got a drone. Right. Two or four fucking you know what I mean? Like let's be men here, bro. Yeah. Like I get it, bro. Like you got a fucking more expensive camera. I just got a 6K camera. Like, okay. Yeah, like no, like, no, no. I, Let, yeah. Just, let's not fucking. Yeah. Bro, you could do you could do less than fucking nothing shit and make it ten times better than a fucking seven, ten K fucking whatever the fuck you got. You know. What no, I'm I know, bro. Like, I talked to a, le- I talked to a legit ass fucking photographer, and homeboy was like, bro. I can make six figures a year with this shit. Right. Just fucking using this shit. Like, just this camera. It's a $300, $400 camera. And, bro, dude, I can make six figures a year plus just geeking with the lenses. Like, right. it's all in the lenses right. and shit. And the way you move it, the, the gimbals, the right. lights. Like, dude, it don't matter if you fucking invest 6 k on a camera. Because I told him I did. You know what I mean? And so. And it's how you, and, and it's how you do shit. Exactly. You know it's not what you like, do. It's how you do it. Everybody can do a podcast, right? Everybody can do a podcast. Everybody can do music or whatever. But if you don't have a, if you don't have a fucking thing that makes it what you make it, then what the fuck you doing? Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, dude, my setup, bro, legit, eight hundred dollars. And, and you I here? I can get like fucking six hundred dollar mics, and I can get a fucking four K fucking soundboard, and yeah. I can get a guy that I have to pay. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I had to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I could do that shit for real, but I'm doing what, what was what I got, and I'm yeah. trying to be the best that I can, and the only the only reason that Moshcast is the way it is is because, bro, where the fuck we are? Live. Music in the background. People fucking geeking over there. Fucking Yee-hee. Everybody's wild as fuck. I get fucked up on... You have to have a personality yeah. before the camera. You have to have a personality before you get in a biz anytime. Exactly, bro. Nobody can do the same shit that you do. There is no other Damar that fucking does photography like Damar does. Yeah. Anybody can take a picture, Facts. but Damar takes pictures. And if you fuck with Damar's shit, it's Damar's. Yeah, bro. And that's on bars. More bars than a gate, bitch. Yup. We about to go to Mars. <laughs> <laughs> we about to make a fucking shit, song. Shit, Facts. And then another question <laughs> is, what are some pros and cons about photography and videography? Yeah, what is that shit? <coughs> the pros is, you know, every time I got a photo shoot book, it's like I'm fucking going to a concert or some shit. Or oh, like, yeah. You know, I, I fucking wake up excited. Like, I'm doing that shit, bro. And, and, and you know, I, 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 I get to let the people be themselves. You know what I mean? Because I'm myself. You know, I, I get them to do unorthodox shit, climb some shit. Fucking hang upside down on some shit. Fucking. Right. I've seen some pictures of you yeah. on some trains and shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, you know, just do some unorthodox shit. Like, we set a fucking spot, but at the same time, we walk around, we right. see some shit. Like, all right, bet. Hey, yo, can you, uh, is there a way you could, like, climb up that? You know what I mean? Or, like, jump off? 
You know right. what I mean? Just don't get hurt. You know what I mean? Just don't die on my yeah, watch. Yeah, but uh, the pro, the the cons is, you know, photography is not appreciated, bro. Right. You know, people will cancel on you. That's why, you know, I do 50% deposits. And then in order for you to, like, you know, uh, and then it's either, like, I got the 50% locked in. Like, it's mine. No refund. But then at the same time, you can still book me, reschedule. Right. Um, And then some people don't even hit you up, bro. Right. They're, like, just, they're just, yeah, like, I call them. I'm there waiting at the fucking spot, you know. Um. You know, just like a, like I said, people think they're better than you and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, does what does uh, weather ever affect shit too? Yeah. Well, nah, not really. Like I do shit in rain sometimes, but if it's like just soft rain, right? But if it's like fucking like coming down, I'm like tripping. I can't do that with this camera. But right. with my six K one, I could do it because it has like, um, it has like uh, what's that shit? A uh, cover. Nah, it, it just has Water like proof. seals. Oh, seals. Yeah, protecting seals. And so, um, yeah, bro. Like I said, you know, um, sometimes it's weather. Like I have a weather, weather, weatherproof film camera. So like I could in the snow, I could take pictures. Rain, I could take pictures. You know what I mean? This fucking heat, I could take pictures. Um, in the cold, but um, yeah, shit, fam. Um, shit. What else? What's another con? Um, sometimes you get kicked out of places for not taking pictures, bro. Oh, really? Or for taking pictures, that's a con. I, I experienced that. Do you get like kicked out of like? I mean, and the shit that you do like uh, on the streets and shit have people like kick you out from like breaking, not breaking and entering, but like trespassing and shit. Yeah. Yeah. I almost got a fee, a, a fine. No shit. Cause I climbed the, the fuck. I went on the roof of the fucking courthouse in downtown. Ah, yeah, shit. you gotta do what you gotta do, bro. I was doing fuck shit, it. bro. Like I was like, I don't give a fuck, like shit. The law ain't gonna yeah. do shit. Fuck but the police. A, but there was a fucking security guard across the street, and I was like, on the edge, like standing on it, taking pictures. And he saw me. He didn't say a fucking word, so I just kept doing my shit. I was getting drone shots and shit. No Next shit. Next thing you know, he's up there. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. Damn. <laughs> And he's like, excuse me, sir, you're going to have to get off. Um, we, uh, I think we're going to find you. Uh, there's a no trespassing. I'm like, where? Yeah, where is it? Yeah. I'm trying over here. I was like, sir, I was just getting a photo shoot and I was getting drone shots. Like, you know, right. I just love the angle of this way, how downtown looks. Yeah. And, you know, I just I just kept the, I just kept it pee. Like, I just kept my composure. I just told him the truth. I wasn't capping about shit. I was just... Right. You know, and then from there, he's like, you know what? You're a good guy, man. Like, we'll let you go, but just don't go up there again. Right. <laughs> but Fuck yeah, dude. That was cool. Yeah, that, nah, it's because I was cool, you know? I wasn't, yeah. like, mad or, like, cussing or shit, you know what I mean? Fucking, um, does, ever, does uh, with you personally, does, like, um, I don't know, does, like, do you ever get those days where you just don't want to do shit? Uninspired? Nah. When it comes to, like, this shit, like... You ever uh, wake up and be like, fuck, I'm not, I don't want to do this shit, bro. Nah. No? Sometimes. It's a, well, if, you know, there's a solution to everything. If right. I don't, I watch a documentary about a photographer. Oh, you're like, I got it. Yeah, like, that's what happened to me this weekend. I was in Lubbock, bro. It was on, it was, what, like, Sunday. I was, like, in the hotel and shit, and I was kind of bummed, and I was like, man, I ain't trying to edit. But then I was like, bro, this ain't me. Right. So, you know, Sunday, you know what I mean? I was bowling. And I go on Amazon Prime. I was like, yo, photography documentaries. And I got this photography documentary uh, that I rented for four bucks. And it was just about some photographer that does full studio sets just for a fucking picture. Like, oh, shit. Like a motion. Like, you, you're, you're like a studio set, like a movie <laughs> type shit, bro. Like, it's a, like. It's a whole fucking team that does this shit. Like, they, like, say, like, this shit empty as fuck. They set this shit up. Like, they put everything on these walls just for right. a picture. Damn. Yeah. It's crazy. And it's like, fuck. Like, that, that's just prop. Yeah. Yeah, it's prop. That's prop shit. Like, they literally get the models in and then they tell them the aesthetic of the vibe that they want. And they're like, oh, okay. That's wild, bro. Yeah, I was just like, damn. Like, is that like a is that a week project or a weekend project or is it like a day project? This is profession, bro. I don't say it's profession, but like, is it like, 
when it comes to like making this shit happen. Uh, how long does it take? He said like it was it was a whole year, oh. but like it's just like different. He get so it was for a, a it was for a book. No, what I, what, I, what I'm saying is is like when uh, you walk into a place like this and like props, boom. Is it like just oh in to a do day? the whole set? Yeah, to do a whole These, set, bro. This motherfucker has fuckload of people, bro. So it takes about a month. A month. And he wants to get twelve pictures. Right. Yeah. No shit. And it's just. For pictures, bro. Right. It ain't for no movie, no scene, no nothing, bro. Just pictures. It's just pictures. <laughs> just like with a meaning behind them, just so, to make you feel something. Right. Like, like, bro, it's just on, on some vibes where, like, you know, motherfuckers just got out of an argument, and, but then there's, like, the door cracked, so, like, you know, um, a bird fucking went in and shit, and she's looking at the bird, and then homeboy's on the bed, like, reminiscing and shit. No shit. You know what I mean? So it, it's pretty fucking Well, shit. look, is this your favorite song or what? He's vibing over even, with this one. I don't even know about this song. Who's this? Michael Jackson? No. Murphy? Don't hate me because I said Michael Shazamsky. Jackson. <laughs> Murphy? Who's Murphy? This, this is not Eddie Murphy. Bullshit. Yeah, party out of the time, man. Eddie Murphy. Murphy, the the actor? No, well, I think so. Bro, I'm gonna have to oh, look yeah. this shit up. Check it out. Wait a minute, are you are we are you saying that Eddie Murphy was a, a musician? Yeah, bro. I was surprised. Um, with with Will Smith being a musician, I thought he all, he was always an actor because I saw Fresh Prince and shit. Bro, I might be I might be fucking with Eddie Murphy, bro. He geeked on this hoe. This is some good shit, dude. Why isn't he still doing it? Ah man, I'm too old. Z, <laughs> <laughs> what we got next, Fuck, dude, bro? What's the What's the battery over there, Braxton? What's the battery look like? We might have to change it up. Take a little break. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take a little break. For- Actually, no, this is Shmurda, okay, guys? Hello, how y'all doing? We're back on Moshcast. Special guest, Shmurda, yours truly, Luke Mata. 
and we're here with Damar, Carmelo. What made you? What made you want to just start saying Carmelo, bro? Uh, that's like my middle name, bro. So you know, Demar Derozan, badass basketball player, and Carmelo, Carmelo Anthony. Yeah, that's legit, bro. Yeah. You know what's crazy, bro? Is like you really should just start going by Carmelo. You think so? I yeah, was thinking that shit like, too. Hey, y'all. You know, my name's Carmelo now. Yeah. That would be like your. Like your other, like your other person. Yeah, it's like, like Drake. Yeah, it's Aubrey Drake, yep. and his, he goes by his middle name. That's crazy. Bet I'm with that. Let's do it. Carmelo. Dre Carmelo. Trey Carmelo for Trey Waves. Trey Carmelo. Trey so, Mello. Uh, so are we gonna spit the facts here today about spit Trey Waves? Just spit the facts. <laughs> all right, all right. Because Trey Waves was that shit's gonna blow, bro. Yeah. That shit's gonna blow, and that shit came out. 2017, 16. Yeah, like when we were in the trenches. The trenches. Yeah. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people don't now y'all know that. Now so. y'all know. Fun fact. Shizzy. You heard it here first. Heard it here <laughs> yeah, first. on Mosh Cast. Check, check me right, out in five, so ten years. <laughs> let's get into these questions, man. Let's do it. So, a lot of your fans are wanting to know, what are your favorite kind of pictures to take? Like what? What kind of view do you like to get out of your pictures? Um, up close and personal, and like, um, get the whole body. You know what I mean? I, I'm down to do some portraits and shit like that, but like, you know, you got to get the whole fit, man. And and plus, I like taking pictures of like, you know, you know, just unorthodox shit. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah. like I was saying earlier, I like I like shit like, bro, get upside down, like, you know, what shit I mean? that Jump. people don't see. Yeah, bro, like. Yeah. Slide down a, a fucking staircase of stairs, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, like, I always like just do shit, bro. Like, I I, I hate being like I, I'm not trying to be on some, you know, fucked up shit. But I hate people like that don't smile. I hate people like you just hate it, the average like yeah, photo that everyone takes. Yeah, I'm down You're to do to all get the best type out of shit it. in the photo yeah. shoot. Like, I want you serious. I want you smiling. I want you laughing. You want I want you dancing. Yeah, that's like my favorite type of picture to take. enjoy their time while they're, while they're getting the picture taken. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's that's smooth right there, yeah. man. And it keeps you having fun too, right? Like you're yeah. just You're just there like, damn, these people are that's what I'm saying. They're enjoying their time and shit. So am I. That's cool. Exactly. That's cool. So here's another one. What's been your favorite photo shoot so far? Um... Uh, I was in Lubbock, bro. It was uh, for a clothing brand for my my guy Key. Key? Yeah, his name's Key, and uh, he makes all his his clothes from scratch, bro. From like, you know, getting you know fabric and like stitching it together, sewing it, and uh, you know, it's just fucking fire, bro. So I actually uh, talked to my guy Guap. His name's Guap. Did him. His name is Ivan. Good job, Guap. <laughs> Uh, he does sh like custom shoes like he sews like fabric on shoes to custom uh, It's like patchwork type shit and uh, you know, I hit him up. I was like, yo, I'm in Lubbock, bro Let's connect. Let's meet up. I'd love to meet you. He's like, yeah, I bet, bro I'm, I'm about to be at my house pull up, but I, I actually got an opportunity for you, bro My friend just dropped a is about to do a drop and he wants to like he needs a photographer We was gonna do our shit on our phones, but like He saw your work. He loved it. And I was like bet let's run it and we did the photo shoot that day, bro. And he was like, yo, bro, it's going to be a two-day two, two day photo shoot. Like, you need anywhere to stay? I was like, nah, nah, bro. I got, I got a friend I can stay with. Like, he was like, yeah, because tomorrow we're about to go to the bowling alley. You know what I mean? Oh, so you went with him and shit? Yeah, so so I was like, shit, bet. So, like. So, out of all your photo shoots, like, <clears throat> you get an experience out of them. Like, yeah, bro. Some of them, sometimes you go out, have some fun, you know, after the photo shoot or before maybe. Yeah, like before we was taking some shots. Um, we was setting up, like he put his clothes on the floor and I was like recording it. I put a VHS filter on that bitch. Like it's just documented. It's in the archives and shit. And, you know, we were just vibing, bro. Like he got all his homeboys together to watch yeah, that's lit. That's yeah, lit. it was a vibe, and then um, we went out to a botanical garden. We was taking pictures there. There was a fuckload of mosquitoes. Like I was taking pictures. I was a model as well too. You know what I mean? Um, that's that's what was cool. Like he had like a blue and yellow like top. Yeah. I had a I had my uh, yellow lightning force. 
He's like, oh, bro, that's crazy. Those shoes match the yellow on this shit. You fucking, whoa, well, you down to rock some shit? I'm like, yeah, I'm with it. And so I did that shit. And uh, what's it called? Bro, it was fun. I was at the botanical place. We did that. We got something to eat. I stay with my friend. Next morning, I'm doing my shit. I go to the gym with them. Uh, after that, we go to the bowling alley. Um and like we're there for free bro like yeah. we told the lady that owns the place like yo we're just here for a photo shoot like we're getting pictures in and we bro we throw some some balls in for the pins and shit and bro they're already on us did you I'm, win I, like bro like i said I, I get like the unorthodox shots so like bro i'm on the fucking like on the fucking alleyway you know what i mean like i'm like in the middle of the alleyway and i'm like getting the pictures of them bowling and shit and then some guy comes up and says, like, hey, man, no, 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 get it, get, get so that. So you out there taking risks. Bro, I was, I'm a risk it all, bro. Like I said, I'm taking pictures that have never been shot before. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's what, that's probably, that's part of the reason why they hit you up to get exactly. you those pictures. Because so, you're willing to go that limit. Yeah, and then to some, make it the and then some, possible. some more models came down and they were sagging, bro. <laughs> and they was taking pictures and shit. We was taking pictures and shit. And then the lady that let us in for free for her photo shoot, she's like, hey, um, you either pull up your pants or leave because I'm not trying to have pictures taken with my logo in the background with y'all sagging. Yeah. You know what I mean? Wearing wife beaters and shit. And, you know, yeah. You know, we felt discriminated and shit and, you know, like racial, racial, you know, type shit. But, racial you know, we booked it, but some type of guess like what that. was next door? A fucking laundromat. We took some pictures in that bitch. So, yeah, laundromat photos are like discreet, <laughs> but like low-key kind of clean photos. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm clean with that shit. Like, I had motherfuckers in the fucking cart and shit that you carry in that <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, that shit. It was shit, bro. So... That yeah, that was, my, that was my favorite photo shoot so far, bro. Uh, I had a blast. Shout out to my guys from Lubbock. Uh, shout out Guap did him. Well, shit, I got shout a out for you, bro. This shout, is a personal. Shout question. out um, personal, Joe. Bro. Shout out Les. Shout out Mace. Um, shout out Lubbock. You're doing good. Numbers. <laughs> What's up? So like now that you're, because I've seen you for years, bro. I've yeah, known you for years, from, and from I've seen you. I've seen you grow from fucking. Uh, like a little brother and them annoying little brothers you know what i'm talking about yeah you know what i'm talking about like always bothering me and shit but at the end of the day like like i said i was like i've seen you grow bro and that shit's crazy so like my question is really is like mm. what <clears throat> what's your next step like what what do you want to do next like what's the next move or is you are you going to stick with photography or are you going to mix it up and try something different because you've always said you want to do multiple things and shit like you already got the clothing brand going that's going you got the photography going that's going you got that trading shit going that's going uh -huh. crypto that shit's going right. so what's next on your on your next little journey that you want to take um definitely taking this shit to to a whole nother pinnacle bro uh just like i said investing into myself back into myself yeah yeah um so like bro just just doing shit bro being active talking to people making building more real relationships not relationships real relationships yeah building bonds where, and yeah, shit to the point where i'm traveling all over the world that bro. way like oh shit i'm gonna go here i know this person hey what's up yo yeah, let's, exactly. let's go do this. that's how it's been bro yeah, like yeah, arizona yeah, yeah like i got an airbnb but a homeboy met me at the club that had me on snap he's like bro you could have stayed at my place i got an extra bedroom <laughs> i pay seven hundred dollars for airbnb for five days you know what Damn, I mean? That's hard. I went to Colorado. You know what I mean? I got hella connections over there. Like, one of them let me stay in a downtown uh, fucking studio apartment or loft type shit, like industrial loft type shit. Like, it was fucking badass. It's two blocks away from the Colorado Rockies stadium, bro. Yeah, that shit's hard. That shit oh, was yeah. badass. It's called the Ballpark Lofts. It's fucking sick. That shit's hard. Yeah, you so, were telling me that shit so yesterday. Yeah. You know, it's just with the connections that I have, I could go places and like stay with them. And then plus like, you know, off of my photo shoot, like, yo, since you let me stay, let's get a shooting. Like, yeah. you know, my, my friends that, are getting, bro, yeah. life, like, you know, you saying, you see motherfuckers grow with you. Like yeah. my friends that I grew from the jump in high school, bro, they over here getting engaged and shit. Yeah, that's just crazy. You know what I mean? And they want me to be their, their photographer for like their engagement photos, their, their wedding, you know what I mean? Their videographer, like, you know? And just the same over here too. Like you know, 
a friend that I went to high school with. He lives in Lubbock now, and he he called me up, telling me, "Yo, bro, let, let's do my like be the videographer for my wedding." You know what I mean? So yeah, that's, it's just that's, building. That's cool, yeah, bro. it's just really building more relationships, getting out there, connecting, and it builds you bridges, bro. Like each bridge, each bridge you build, it takes you onto another another little part of yeah, exploration. Bro. Like, oh shit. I just now I'm here in Rado. I done met people here in Rado. Now I know I could bridge out through here. Shit, yeah. like right, I went to Arizona. To Arizona. I, that's then, my first time ever going. Shit, coming back to Texas, going to Dallas, yep. San Antonio, Houston. Yeah, you know, just taking it everywhere. Here, building been, bridges, bro. I've been to so many places I've never been to in my life. Like I, I said this too. Like the business, like the business, opened doors for me. Yeah. The trading, network marketing, all that shit opened doors for me. But this yeah, photography thanks. shit made me walk in those doors. So, yeah. It kind of like I'm helped keep you become that. yourself. Yeah, it, 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 I'm going to keep doing that shit. I'm going I'm to take that shit and run with it, you know? But, yeah, bro. Let me see. Let me see. We already answered that one. Yeah. Yes, sir. Numbers. So one of your fans are wanting to know, what's up? Where do you see yourself in five to ten years with this photography thing that you got going, bro? So and where do you want to take it? Like, how far do you want to take it? I'm gonna take this shit. I mean, I, I feel like that's what Jupiter we keep asking with that you. Solar, fuck, with that fucking uh, what is it? The satellite. <laughs> but I feel like that question is based off of pretty much everything that we've been talking about. Yeah, bro. So in five to ten years, bro, I'm a most definitely in five years. Um, I'm definitely gonna drop a documentary about me, uh, filmed on VHS. He uh, also has a book. Just letting y'all know. Yeah, I have a book. I, I that shit's wrote hard. a book. Uh, but the next book that I drop, so since I wrote a book, the next book I drop is gonna be a book of nothing but pictures that I've took. Yeah. That's a bar. That's you know clean. what I mean? Yeah. And and with that, it's just gonna keep on going, you know. Whether it's from people, whether it's from photo shoots that I did, whether it's for brands, whether it's for, you know, just me walking, like I said in Phoenix, like regular ordinary shit. Just yeah, the aesthetic of that shit is just fucking beautiful, bro. Like the scenery, the vibe. It's, yeah, like yeah, it's that shit's hard. Arizona. Yeah. You know, yeah. so, so yeah, I'm I'm gonna drop a documentary about myself on VHS. Um, and then my second document, I'm gonna drop another documentary, and it's gonna be about everybody else, like everyone else that that was part of your journey. Yeah, uh, I can't say much on it right now because I, I feel like this is a good ass like idea. Um, but that's all I could give y'all right now is just it's about everybody else. Um, and then third, I'm a, I'm writing a movie right now uh, of just you know I could give some ideas out too but like they'll get took for me um this is multi-million dollar plays and shit so um like just expect five to ten years documentaries movies books photo books uh photo exhibits um it's gonna be clean i can't wait to see it man yeah bro i really can bro like i said like i said bro growing up with you or growing or uh being part of your little success in your journey bro that shit's crazy man seeing how how it came and then stuff like that how you're just getting it now like yeah at first yeah you know you struggle that's how it always is man you're gonna always struggle with anything you start any business any any major move that you want to make it's Mm -hmm. gonna be hard at first never gonna be easy but once you keep going through it i'm sure like i'm sure you know that shit got easier over time, huh? Nah, yeah, shit just, hey, anybody, hey, I need a photo shoot. Boom, you're going to that shit. Yeah. Or, hey, let's make this trade. Boom, made a play on a trade. Yeah. Most deaf. Like, it's all, it's all execution, you know what I mean? And then it's called right here on the next question. It says, if you could get a photo shoot in with five to five people dead or alive, who would they be? Um, we should have got a JD one, bro. Shout out to JD. Our cousin, yeah. R.I.P. JD. That's our cousin. He passed away. Like, what this year, huh? Yeah, long last year in December. It's gonna be a uh, his celebra- his uh R.I.P. Mac Miller. It's been four years. His uh his celebration of life's gonna be September twenty fourth in San Antonio. For those who want to come and our cousin come and come say what's up. For those who know him, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, for sure. I'll, I'll be there. Um, 
with the five people that are alive, one would be Selena Quintanilla. I just feel like people didn't. We need a photo shoot. People didn't get a good snap of her, bro. Like I would have been all over that. Like let's take some pictures, bro. Like with your man, like the guitarist. What angle would you get the best of her? Like what's her best angle? You think? If you could take a picture of her. I mean, bro, she was a powerful woman, bro. Like, from down under on top to give her the power. You know what I mean? Um, I definitely get her dancing and shit, you know, yeah. next to her man, the guitarist, you know? Like, you know, I just feel like they didn't really, you know, freeze the moments that she was in. You know what I mean? Some of the moments that exactly. certain people didn't. Um, two is Bad Bunny. I feel like I could go crazy with Bad Bunny, you know. I feel like he's That's just know. controversial now with that nigga. Why? Excuse my language. Why? Uh because you didn't see that? He uh one of his performances he was dancing, he had one of his dancers, he had a female dancer that he kissed, and then he had a male dancer behind him, and he kissed a male dancer. Oh yeah. You saw shit. that. I mean he had to do that shit. For the hell no, not me. For the artist, <laughs> for the artist, for the artist of the year, bro. He had nah, it. Nah, He's like, hey, bro, you kiss. I mean, I still, kiss Shotty I still for sure, but you kiss this good. man. We'll lock you in the the award, <laughs> and you'll be in New York. We got you. But I, I'm just talking about just creative wise. I ain't talking about no controversial. Like I don't care. No, I'm just saying. What do you done. think? Like, would you still, like I said, like certain I mean, people he has a are gonna. Shoddy. I know, but certain people are gonna start thinking about it, like. Shit, okay. if you did something controversial, people are going to be like, how are you going to react? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, shit. I don't know, bro. I, I'm not the one to talk shit about gay people or just people doing shit like that. Um, you know, it's a tough subject. It's you know, their you life. You know, yeah, a lot that's of people what I'm really saying. don't like talking about it, but I mean. Let's get real. Yeah, fuck it. You know, um, I don't. I mean, I'm cool with gay people. You know what I mean? But once it crosses the line, bro, like, I'm going to hit him straight. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying with that whole Bad Bunny deal. But, I mean, that, but this he's nigga. popping, bro. You got to think <laughs> about it, bro. Like, No, he's popping. He's, you he see the concerts he's no, doing, No, he's bro? definitely popping. He's got the people. Bro, he's, he's got the sold fans. out. He's got the Latino-based people. He's, he's got it all. He got but everybody bouncing. Yeah, I'm just saying, I mean, he did that little that little deal. He kissed that dude. You know, it's, people are going to start being like, oh, shit, is he gay? You know what I'm saying? Or... Was yeah. it just part of that it's moment? Just, it's just part of like what he's like, in order to get certain achievements, bro. Or is that just that shit. his free spirit? I think it's free spirit. Yeah, because because if you were in his position, no, 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 you get out. Okay. I would say if he if you were in his position, uh -huh. wouldn't you want to fuck anything? No. Nope. You can fuck anything. You just can fuck females. anybody. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. Nah, I mean, bro. I kiss, I just I kiss my homie. I kiss my homie more than once. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's mm. all I gotta say about it. Fuck, Rex. Not me. Nah, shit. I do whatever the fuck I want right now. But if I had that much money, that much power, that much fame, and some hot ass dude comes up to me, <laughs> I'm giving him a kiss, bro. Right. Y'all yeah. heard it here on the Mosh, the Mosh cast. <laughs> yeah, I heard this. Braxton's over here. Yeah. yeah. Nah. <laughs> Fruity Pebbleish. I've been straight since the jump, bro. I've been grabbing titties and ass my whole life. Well, Making out saying, with bitches, yeah, yeah. macking on bitches. I wouldn't be me if I, had, if I was getting bands. I'm. We do that. We, we do that too. I'm gonna yeah. call people. Over. I'm gonna call some shorties over like and be like, "Hey, y'all trying to come through? Let's party." I'm. Gonna ha I have all my boys here. Yeah, nah, fuck that. Nah, mm. I only, I only fuck with shotties, bro. Yeah, same. You know. Nah, I mean, I'll give Maybe my homeboy like a hug. That's the or some I'll shit. Go. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, other than that, nah, fuck that. Fuck no. But yeah. So from your experience so far, like, what's your most? What was your weirdest photo shoot? Like the weirdest one? Like, oh shit! I don't know if I'll do that again. Um, there's there's never been one. It was just one where like, um, I one that made you feel uncomfortable. You're like, oh shit! I don't know. Or they're just all just been kind of like the same kind of deal. It's all good vibes with me, bro. But um, one time I. Rented out this studio for a couple hours, and homegirl wasn't pulling up. Like Damn. she didn't pull up till like thirty minutes left. Thirty minutes left of the photo shoot. Yeah. Did she still pay? Yeah, she still paid. Uh, like okay. I, it was for a birthday shoot, but um, what's it called? Like she was late as fuck. Like I was just there, fucking in the stew, like blaring music and shit, and I was just like, <coughs> oh man. Like, we ain't finna get this shit in. Like, she's barely driving. And this was, like, outside of Amarillo, like, 
20 minutes out, like yeah. by Bushland. Uh, and I'm like, damn, bad. <laughs> but nah, bro, she was like, she called me. Time, she's like, I'm right here. I'm I mean, at, at least she paid her money. No, nah, I know she paid, but it was just more the fact that, like, that's what threw off the vibe. I was just like, I don't think we're going to do this shit in 30 minutes. But then, like, once we once that camera was on, once everything the, just started once rolling, her play, yeah, started playing instant, like, good vibes. Like, all right, cool. This boom, sit there. All right, cool. Do you get gratification, like, out of taking good pictures? Gratification as of like what? Like, does it make you feel good? Like, damn, I yeah, bro. Like, I, I, did that. I, sh- I, I froze this moment. You know what I'm saying? In time like, where it's like making a song or like making a, yeah, a, a that's shirt what I'm or saying. something. It feels like, like I'm doing a concert, bro. You shit's know? hard, yeah. Like, I'm just excited to do this. And then, shit, you, and bro. then you get people happy about how, the way that, the way you make them look and shit. Exactly. It's pretty cool. So, yeah. So number two is Bad Bunny. Three is Drake. Four is Travis. Five is Doja Cat. Doja Cat. Doja Cat. We go yeah, crazy. I fuck, I fuck with Doja Cat. Like she, she shaved her she eyebrows, her head, or whatever. F it, bro. She turned her eyebrows into cells, cool. sperm cells, and she could put a wig on. Uh, she'd be on some crazy shit. She'd be down to do some like underwater naked shit or something. I don't fucking know. Oh, yeah, she. Yeah, bro. Like she's I'm with on that. her own. Like, let me find myself. Yeah, vibe. like bro, let's let's That's do some cool. shit at the crib. Yeah, you know what I mean. Drake would be a cool one, I think too. That's what I'm saying. And then- Yeah, that was kind of weird. I turned into a homeboy real quick. <laughs> Switch it up for a second. For Which sure. You would be the you'll you'll be the first person ever to to interview somebody on my podcast. 
So that's some new shit There's right always there. Always the first, bro. So hopefully, I didn't. I was I was trying not to listen to it so I can do a first look on it whenever it drops and shit. That's gonna be fucking sick. It's gonna be sick. Everything's changing up in this bitch. I don't give a fuck. No one cares. Um, I had a question for you. What's up? Um, what are some of the last things you want to accomplish before the year ends? Because we're coming to a, a full close. It's our, almost October. You know. It's the fourth you got, quarter. Yeah, you, you got four. You got four more months, and, and you know, it's there's a lot of things quarter. that you're you've accomplished now this year. What's uh? What are we? What are we trying to finish off with strong for this Man. year for the next? I had one of the best summers of my life this year, bro. Yeah? I did big numbers. Yeah, dude, you were fucking just vibing it out, bro. I was everywhere, bro. Um, shit, I definitely want to hit the 100 photo shoot mark. Oh, I'm yeah? A, I'm at like 80, uh, 77, 78 no shit. photo shoots. And, bro, some of them aren't even out yet, bro. Right. Like, I have so much content to the point where I could post, like, next year towards march if i post every weekend like every saturday i have enough photo shoots to like Last some year, I, couple years yeah some ain't even developed yet bro no shit from my film <laughs> that be and then dope, dude. some don't even want me to post them <laughs> no shit so yeah i definitely want to hit the 100 photo shoot mark why don't they want to why don't they want you to post them for uh it's just them bro it was just it yeah was i just, just gotta respect it yeah you know, it's, it's their pictures that is true um, but hopefully later in the future, right. I'll be able to. Um, I need to get you a better chair, dude. Some of us on back support. Um, That's okay. I just have a bad back already. <laughs> <laughs> um, definitely. I wanna, I wanna do. What do I wanna do this year? You wanna do the hundred, the hundred photo shoots for this year? Right. I Which definitely can. Sick, cause like you started doing photo sh- like photo shoots for th- five months ago. From five months straight already, so yeah, that might that would be like an accomplishment of itself. I don't know if anybody's recorded there. Yeah, I keep track, bro. Yeah. I have to. Um, that same, it's the same thing I do with trading. I'm doing it with this. You have to track everything, bro. How much you made from that photo shoot? You know what I mean? Like it's legitimately like this is a business, bro. Like I don't. Um, the only time I use the money that I made from photo shoots to my expenses on gas. That's oh, it. yeah. But other than that, it's reinvesting it back into the business, to my website, to, you know, uh, to my cameras, to my film development, right. to my editing, to my, you know, my Adobe shit. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah. Um, I love that shit. So, yeah, bro, that's that's one of my main pinnacles is hitting a fo- 100 photo shoots this year um, because with that, bro, like, Shit, bro. I made like almost shit. I just hit 5k last month. No shit. Er, yeah, last month. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No shit, dude. Just photography. Yeah, just straight from this business. Yeah. And then this month I made 3k already because of the wedding. Right. And then I got three other photo shoots before the month ends. They're paying 200 an hour. Right. For birthday shoots, bro. And get get a little personal here. What's up? Is this is this um, covering your lifestyle? Are you uh, be, are you comfortable doing this full time? Yeah. And just doing that. Yeah, because with trading, pays I was already bills, pays all that shit. Yeah, with trading, I was already living off of that shit. So, right. you know, with this, I just reinvested in like gold places. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, and I haven't taken a flight yet ever in my life. So I'm I'm wanting to like and like. To put that all together to the point where I take private jets. Right. I want to take my first flight I'm going to take is a private jet. Right. Just That's an investment. Yeah. This I mean, year or what? This year. I think or if not, my birthday when I'm 23. Yeah, accomplishment. My Jordan year. So... We want to do the, we wanna do the 100, 100 photos. Yeah, that's my main goal right now. Your main goal? Yeah, other than that, I mean, the money will come, bro. You know what I mean? Right. What, what what are some of your que- uh, what, what's 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 your uh, goal? My accomplishments, my goals for this year. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to drop my second album, hopefully, or at least finish recording it 100 percent this year. I got that cover for you, though. Yeah, gotcha. Um, let's see what else, man. So like, I do I do small I do small glow ups. So I hit my uh-huh. 300. 
organic followers on Instagram. I'm numbers. about to hit 200 organic subscribers on YouTube. So numbers. Hopefully that fucking uh, jumps up for the end of the year, uh, which is crazy because that's like I've been I've been like just pushing and pushing the subscribers, You're pushing like a button. YouTube and stuff. So hopefully that goes. I want I want 200 or organic subscribers on YouTube for the end of the year. Uh -huh. Um. And man, I kind I kind of want to do. A, I want I want to do a show out of state. Oh shit! Okay. Yeah, that'd be cool. At the end of the Go year, to I want to do a show out of state. Yeah. Well, I have something. I have, I have something going on with uh, with uh, Scumbag Fred. Uh, I'm gonna be his opener for Tulsa, Oklahoma. What? Maybe. He has to, he had to find another uh, venue, so hopefully that that still stays. If that stays, then I'll that'll be my accomplishment. But even then, like. I'm down to even do like a little mini tour. I kind of want to just do like just touch bases in different, in a different state, just doing that mm -hmm. for just a second, maybe like a weekend or like half a fucking week or whatever. But that's what I want to do. I've been do doing, this. I've been doing shows here in Texas, here in town, whatever. Yeah. I want to do something out of state. Ah, for sure, bro. You're doing good, bro. Like, keep Appreciate going, it. dog. Appreciate like, it, I'm proud of you, dude. Yeah. And the like, songs that I do, like, like for real on stage, like, I don't have out. I don't have that shit out. Yeah. Like, that's my stage music. If you show up to that 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 venue, then you're gonna hear shit that no one has, you know. Damn. And so Sorry. I, I kind of want to keep it that way, and then drop my fucking album, get some new shit going, and then have maybe like a new a new fucking uh, set for for uh, shows and shit. Because I kind of want to keep it that way, where it's like if you go to one of my shows, it's shit that you haven't heard yet. And maybe if like you like it, like if people fuck with that song, maybe I'll do that song. But and it's yeah. gonna be shit that you don't, you don't have never heard. Yeah, that's what. Um, what's his name? Fucking uh, the dude who made uh, Lil Nas X. Yeah. He just went. Up, he goes on tour. He's on tour right now, but he's like leaking or like playing new shit that hasn't been dropped. No shit. Yeah. No shit, bro. And that's yeah, the thing yeah. with me too is like my albums do not correlate with my features. And my features do not correlate with the songs that I do on stage. Everything's fucking different, bro. Mm -hmm. Once you hear this album, bro, the second album, and I'm trying to, I'm not trying to hype my shit up, but I'm hyping my shit up. Bro, I heard your first album. That shit's lit. Yeah, right? So whenever you hear the second album, bro, I'm getting canceled. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Churches are going to hate me. The government's <laughs> going to fucking hate me. Everybody's going to be fucking hate me uh, in this bitch. Shit. Do you I don't think, give bro? a fuck. I'm canceled that shit. Do you and think? Then, my, you know, like when I do features, I go, I go ham as fuck. Yeah. But I don't know. It's, that, that's my, that's one, one of my accomplishments is just at the end of the year, finish strong, and then just wait for next. See what else is popping. Damn. Get the, you get the fucking podcast on some roller coaster shit. <laughs> you know. Do a I, podcast on a roller coaster. One just, I just, I just so. want that one person. That one person just needs to watch it that one time, and then it blows the fuck up. You know. Yeah. I'm just waiting for that one fucking. I'm waiting like a fucking fisherman, bro, in the ocean. Reel it in. Reel it in fucking hard. You know, <laughs> get a get a fucking um, sponsor or something or whatever. I don't know if I, I, you know, that's the thing too. I don't know if I'm doing this shit right. You know, yeah. I cuss. I talk about the hard shit. I talk about the weird shit. I get weird. We get fucked up. Like, talk I don't know if anybody fucks shit. with that stuff. But if you do and you have something, a business, you know, hit your boy up. I'm down to fucking get sponsored. Get here. A hundred percent, so. So but yeah. we have one more question, right? Last question. Last guy. question is, what's some advice you'd give to people going into the photography, videography industry? Um, what's it called? Some dude slid up on my story when I posted somebody, you know, when I do all that shit. Right. And um, I'm not going to say any names, but uh, homeboy slid up and he said, wait, so you do photography as a career. I said, honestly, I do it for an extra source of income. And I told him, or he, he told me, ah, I got you. Because I was looking into majoring into photography to be one, but unfortunately, they get underpaid. Ah. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Let's let's put a card in that they get underpaid. They. Let's put a card in them. They. I'm not they. I'm an alien. No, I'm saying. <laughs> well, it's just, it's just weird that yeah. if somebody's going into that. Like, it's already up. Yeah, people. it's your perception. Like, they, yeah. who the fuck is they? Because I'm doing fine right here. Yeah. So this is what I said. I said, ha, you don't need school to do this, bro. You just got to be, a, uh, you just got to get a little uh, 
I said, ha, you don't need school to do this, bro. You just got to get a nice little camp, some slight to start off, and just get in the field, bro. Right. I'm about to clear 5K from doing this this month. You just got to be consistent, reinvest everything you making from shoots for a while and get out there and open right. your mouth. Right. I told him, I was like, right now, I just got a 6K, $6,000 $6, camera. Right. I got a regular $300, $400 camera. Yeah. $1,000 drone, $700 film camera. Right. All I got to say is, bro, is set your price and live your life. Yeah, dude. You know what I mean? I don't like, know who the fuck they is yeah, when it comes to this so shit. I, he said, bet it up. Because when I told my friends and family, they were laughing at me saying I'd be broke. But I'm definitely going to take this advice. I appreciate it, fam. I said, right. yeah, no problem, bro. Fuck what they think. Do what you want to do. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. You know? Like, 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 on some real shit, be smart about it. Get yeah. a day job. Get your bag for a second. Yeah. Get that's that, what I Get did. that, like, 5K, 6K or whatever on, yeah. that, on that shit. Buy the camera. Yeah, you're going to be broke for a second. But for real, if you set your price like you said, and people are already fucking with your shit, then there shouldn't be a problem to get that 6K back up. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? People are always looking for, dude, do the stupid shit. Dude, I'm going to be real here. Do the stupid shit. Yeah. Do birthday, do, do little kids' birthday parties. I do did that. Do fucking quinces. I did do that. Do fucking weddings. I did that. Like, do yeah. that shit. Do, do that shit. Do the corny shit. In the fucking fuck. paint. Go yeah. hard as fuck. And then when people start seeing that shit, you talk around. You you fucking be around the people that you want to be. You fuck around at the, the store. You fuck around at the gigs. You fuck around with the people that are doing shit. Then your name gets out. You have ship. You have a portfolio. Exactly. Boom. Then you start getting the real, the real hard shit. Where it's like, yeah, uh, you could do a fucking, you could do a fucking, uh, uh, a photography shoot for like three k this weekend. Over here at some crazy fucking bumfuck Egypt nowhere, where it's like dark and gloomy, and it's you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's somebody out there that has that money. You just gotta fucking. Yeah, bro. I talked to a professional photographer the other day. I met him at a fucking coffee shop. He had the camera that I fucking right. like wished for. It was like two months, or it was like a few weeks before I got it. Right. And I saw his shit, and he was just geeking on this shit, bro. Like on his fucking. I'm like, what the fuck? He's like, yeah, bro. Like, bro. Before I started doing ads and shit, I was making like 80, 90, 120, 130k a year just right. doing portraits. Yep. Like for families, like yeah. fucking uh, in the backyard. graduations. Yeah, like graduations. Family, another like, one of those. What, what he means by portraits is like the fucking shit that you print out. Yeah. Bro, you could print out. He said, bro, bro, you could print out sheets for four dollars, bro, and charge them eighty. Yeah. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, bro. People pay for this, and plus, bro, it's either gonna hang on their house or be in a drawer. Right. And I was like, damn. That's crazy. But yeah, it's corny as shit, but dude, that's a bag. Yeah, but all I got to say, bro, yeah, just keep pushing like a button, bro. Like, a lot of people keep asking, like, what influenced you in this yeah. and that? Like, bro, just just get your bag, bro. Save up $200, $300, $500 for yep. a nice little cam, bro. Get out there. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, with the business that I did before this, like, I took that, took that, like, so in, like, opening my mouth right. and my network. And just like, oh, I just picked up a camera. Let's get a shooting. Like, yeah, first shoots were free and shit. But, like, once I started popping, yep. people, it's supply and demand, motherfucker. Once you got, like, ten people, yeah. like, texting you, it's like, you need to. It's like, all right, let's schedule this shit. Yep. Let's do this shit. All right, cool. Let's yep. run it. I'm going to charge you this. You know what I mean? And don't pause your shit. Don't pause your shit because you don't have anything. Yeah. You have a phone right here. Yeah. Take pictures. Continuously take pictures. It yeah. doesn't matter if you if you have that 6K camera right now. Use that Geek phone. on your picture. Get your portfolio your up and then get your camera. You're That's already, you're already set for gold. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, bro. Like, bro, the reason why I started taking pictures was because, what's it called? I was getting a haircut from my brother, right? He cuts my hair. And some shoddy DM me. She was like, hey, I love your feed, bro. Like, your content's amazing. Right. Like, you take pictures. Like, how, how much for a photo shoot? I'm like, bro, look. He was like, bro, like, get a camera. Like, go to Walmart or go to a thrift or pawn shop. Right. Get you a camera, bro. Like. Get you some slight and start charging people. I'm like, bad. And bro, I did and shit, shit. Sure enough, I told my homeboy that's in my business, and he called me up. He's like, hey, bro, you, you know, like you said, you wanted a camera, right? Well, shit, my sister just moved out. She left her camera here, bro. Like, I'll let you use it. Like, bro, let's rock. Like every time we're off the same day, like let's get a photo shoot in, right. bro. And I was like, shit, let's run it, bro. We met at the coffee shop. Like, my first camera was in my first camera. Right. And so, like, 
I fucking I hit that shit. I started learning about it, locked in for like a week. I got my first photo shoot in. I did it for free, bro. For a friend. I just got off the FaceTime with her. Right. I think you were here. Yeah, yeah right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, it was my very first photo shoot. I said, I'll do it for free. She's like, okay, cool. Here's my location. Pick me up. We're going to the club with my friends. I won't need you for more than 30 minutes. Bet. Let's run it. Fucking left. Put up in the parking garage. Took pictures there. Started walking on the street to the club. Took pictures in the street. Went in the club. Took 10 pictures in the club. And what's it called? Bro. She's like, all right, I'm done. 30, 40 minutes. And I was like, bet, shit, here, you can see him right now. She's like, oh, my God, he did amazing. And I was like, yeah, for sure. I'm going to go home, edit him. And, um, yeah, I'll send it to you, like, in the morning or some shit. Because it was, like, 50, 40 pictures. You know, it was, like, one a picture a minute type shit. Right. But, um, shit, bro. She was like, you did great. And I was like, yeah, thank you. And then when I was walking out, she grabbed me and she grabbed her purse. She was like, wait here, I'm going to give you some money. I'm like, nah, you're good. Like, this is just me getting the feel. She's like, no, right. here. She fucking got, you know, some ones and fives and shit. It's 15 bucks. Right. I edited them. Bro, I sent it to her the next morning. That uh, Like, at lunch and shit, she texted me. She's like, yo, bro, what's your cash app? Like, you geeked on this shit. Like, yeah, I am I got Bars. you. You know what I mean? So, like, it's just it's just the <laughs> way, like, you know, the aesthetic that you provide, yep. what you do. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, the angles. Like, bro, the that photo shoot is the very first photo shoot that's pinned on my page. It's the it's gonna be pinned for life. Right. And plus I'm posting her tomorrow. You know what I mean? So it's just it's just wild, bro. Um, how shit goes like that. Like, you know, just get out there, bro. Start talking to me. Do shit for free at first if you got to. You yep. know what I mean? Yep. And that's what I'm saying. Supply and demand is next. Like motherfuckers start calling for you. I'm like, I bet let's schedule this shit out. This is how much I charge, this is much this is how much my deposit is, so you can lock it in. Yep. So if you fucking cancel on me or anything happens, you know what I mean, you can still reschedule with me, but you know what I mean, I get my bread for yep. that day. Yep. You know what I mean? I think it's, it's gonna it's gonna get to the point where, you know, it's gonna get to the point where those bags that you get or somebody messaged you in the day like yeah. hey i know it's last minute i'll give you like i don't know 2k 1500 whatever whatever your base pay is or whatever yeah and plus more hey can you come over here at six and you don't yes. get off until That's eight after jump before. but you gotta you gotta wear that shit out you gotta wear that shit out dip. <laughs> go dip. there bro that's dip. pays bro that's it bro you're getting paid a hundred dollars the average person in Texas makes about a hundred plus dollars a day, right? At the job, right? So if you think Bro, about it, and just get getting 50, paid 50, that for day. four hours from six to like nine, yeah, seven, eight, yeah, six to nine, six to twelve, and you're doing something that you love. Fuck out of here. Yeah, and you're Dip just standing there taking pictures and quit your day freezing job. those moments in time, Sorry. flipping them. If you numbers. get fired, you can find another job easy. Yeah, no, you get you find job easy, but dip that shit, bro. Yeah, and then you do know, not let anybody saying, stop you from getting that shit. Photographers are saturated. No, bro. There's no saturation in photographers if you do shit differently than everybody yeah. else. Bro. There's no saturation in art, bro. And at all, bro. There's an abundance of it. People love it. Like, bro, like I'm into fucking um home decor. I'm into couches. I'm into fucking Anything. like wall. Like I'm into like you know, not porn and shit, but like the the, Hood, the female the body, the female body is the most right. beautiful thing on planet Earth, bro. Like, I fucking love women. You know what I mean? Um, but at the end of the day, it's just like, you know, I just want to leave some shit where like my future generations could be like, damn, you did OG shit, really did this shit. Like, if he could do it, I could do it. It's right. not even better. Right. Like, it's in my it's blood. Your own feel. Like. He's creative like that. I could just, bro. Like, there might even be some shit I leave to my family that nobody's ever seen before right, that I drop. Right. They can see it. Copy and paste because nothing's, you know, nothing's ever new under the sun type shit. But at the same time, like, they could just take it and run with it and just be like, damn, like, I got this shit from my grams. Right. Like, my great, 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 great grams. Like, this is nigga crazy. Like, he's the one who started shit. Everybody, like, and Friona, bro. And Freon, remember Miss Clark? Yeah. The science teacher? Yeah. Bro, she, there'd always be like a little science, like little fucking project shit that we'd always do. Right. Like you got to bring an insect and shit that you made. Bro, everybody else made fucking like 
fucking caterpillars and worms and shit out of socks and whatever the fuck. Yeah. Bro, I made a dragonfly out of a, out of a fucking, like, RC helicopter. She was like, this has never been done before. Innovative. She fucking hit up my fucking brothers. I'm like, yeah, nigga, shit changing. I'm over here flying this bitch. In, <laughs> I'm flying this bitch in class like, oh, shit. You know what I mean? The world changing. Everything changing, bro, and I'm the example of it, bro. I'm down to be like I'm. I'm. I'm comfortable being uncomfortable with change. Right. Everything involving, like, bro, I want the new shit. Like, I'm gonna get the iPhone 14, bro. Like, I want that electric car. You know, what I mean? I'm. A, I'm gonna get it. Like, right. I don't care how much it costs. Like, Fuck them. You know what I mean? Yeah. The manifestation on the, that wavelength, shit. Yeah, bro. That radio waves. If you, if you ain't really with the shits, bro, like. People get shit and then like realize they can't afford it, but Fuck what, it. You, what, what, what what tune you got to get into is like, all right, you got to get that shit to go harder. You know yep. what I mean? That's that's one thing I learned from like wealthy people that I hang out with. They're like, yeah, bro, I got that fucking rose, and then I got this driver. Like, it's giving him a job, but still, it's making me go harder to pay him. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I'm out here doing numbers. Yee he he pushing like a button. You know what right. I mean? Like, sock it to me. We going up from here, bro. Right. Like, you, you're going to see me, bro. Like, I'm be on fucking Times Square. I'm going to be on commercials with the shit that I click. I'm going to be on an Apple commercial. Like, you know what I mean? I'm going to be making documentaries, movies. I'm going to be, like, taking pictures for fucking brands and shit. My own brands. Right. You know? Shit. I'm going to be on album covers. You know what I mean? I'm going to be on some shit, bro. Yeah, I'm going to take your album cover. <laughs> shit. Hey, that shit yeah, I hear. Fucking. Appreciate it. I appreciate you getting on, bro. Appreciate you, bro. I appreciate Braxton being on the, the first, Braxton. his yeah, first yeah, fucking no sound. Thank you for the sound. The sound bro. guy. Woo, woo. But uh, tell everybody about your uh, Instagram, where they can find all that shit, where um, they can find you, all that good stuff. Yeah, bro. Everything is Damar Carmelo uh, together. D-A-M-A-R-C-A-R-M-E-L-O. All together mostly. But if it's like Facebook is or, or uh, YouTube, it's Damar Carmelo, just like with the space. But yeah, everything's Demar Carmelo all together. Like I said, I was I, I hit up like the, the Instagram niggas, bro. I was like, hey, bro, like we gotta put this shit together. Yep. We gotta like we gotta work. Shit verified. Yep. Blue check. Yellow star. We getting there. We I heard there. that like getting a blue check on Instagram is not that hard anymore. All you gotta do is just get a few fucking uh, articles. Yeah. Like six then, articles or some shit yeah, like that. Yeah, and then um, get above 10k followers. Yeah. Yeah. You can do that, bro. Easy. Yeah. Most def. I got well, it. I appreciate you getting on here. Appreciate um, y'all, bro. It's an honor always. Likewise, we some, bro. We got some new shit coming up. It's going to be fucking dope as fuck. Gotcha, and uh, I can't wait to see what you got in store for in the future. For sure. But that's it, Boston. That's it. We'll see you next week. And like always, go fuck yourself, dude. Much love, peace, and happiness. <laughs> Let's get it. Right when the song is. See?